Yo! What's up, guys? It's me, your boy, B, back here on the YouTube channel. Today, guys, we're playing some more Flippin' Oblivion, alright? And as you guys can see behind me, we are in the Shivering Isles, alright? We are here with our boy, Shiogorath, and Haskill. Okay, my bad. Alright, I'm going, I'm going. And yeah, basically guys, if you guys haven't watched the last episode, I highly suggest you guys watch that. Because it's pretty much, this is going to be a continuation of that last video. Um, so, you know, you guys want to definitely be caught up. Um, or, I mean, if you don't, you don't have, oh shoot, I almost stole that. You don't have to if you guys don't want to, but um. Bye. Guys, if you guys aren't um, already subscribed, if you guys are new to the channel and enjoying the videos, make sure you run up the like button. Run that subscribe button up. Alright, sorry. Shameless plug, out of here. Alright, guys. So, let's start with the video, guys. So, if you guys were keeping up with the video, you would know that we are in the part of the... Pretty much the beginning of the Shivering Isles. We figured out just a little bit of exposition about, like, Shiogorath and what he wants and what the whole point of this, like, DLC is. And pretty much, I, I was kind of falling asleep in the last video during, towards the end. Um, but I think, like... Shio Gorath needs a hero to help him stop some uh, thing called Grey March, I think. That's like pretty much just like the end of the world or the end of the Shivering Isles or something like that. And he wants us to go to... The first quest that he tasked us with was to go to some place and like activate the energy thing there. Because it's like off right now or, or something like that. I kind of was like falling asleep so I kind of didn't retain too much of what he said but let's let's go over this little quest thing so here we go it's called a better mousetrap so let's read this i've been given the manual of zedillion and a strange device called the Atten attenuator of judgment by shiogorath i've been directed to proceed to zedillion and to return the place to working order i should either read the manual or speak to shiogorath's chamberlain Haskell to familiarize myself with the strange dungeon. I have learned that in order to restore Zedillion, I must activate the Resonator of Judgment. <clears throat> Excuse me. To do so, I will need to find three Focus Crystals and place them in each of the Judgment Exes. <clears throat> oh my god, excuse me. Which will prepare the Resonator for attunement. I should proceed to Zedillion now and begin my search. So, that's our first task. This is our first task that Shiogorath has, you know, um, told us to do. Go to Zedillion, power it back up because it's out of or uh, it's out of uh, power, and all of this is going to somehow help stop Gray March or something like that, um, something along those lines. But um, yeah, guys, in today's video, so what we're gonna do? Ooh, replica gatekeeper helm head. That looks pretty cool. But um, guys, so what we're gonna do in today's video is. We're going to, first of all, just go... Oh, oh, whoa, I didn't know they had a whole, like, thing here. Wow. So they have the House of Dementia and probably House of Mania, right? It's cool. So this is where, like, if you want to, like, you know, maybe take a sweet little thumbnail, you could potentially do so. And I might as well do that right now. Bruh. Oh, we got some guards here. You guys see that? I didn't even notice her. She's kind of, like, sneaking, sneaky, a little sneaky over there. Ooh, yeah, this is sweet. Here, let's take a little thumbnail skis right here. The freaking, um... The Housekeeper of Dementia. Right here, at your service. Alright, All right, enough of that. Let's go. Just some cool little vibe thing here. Nelreen. So we have a Dark Guardian, or whatever these ladies are called. But she doesn't have that like tag on her. She just said her. She just has a name. Her name's Nelreen. How may I? So let's serve? talk to Nelreen and check out the vibes. Let's have a little. Let's let's get a little vibe check with Nelreen. See if we're vibing with her. You know, what's up, Nelreen? Mad God's blessings. Ooh, Mad God's blessing to you as well. She's got new, no new dialogue. Walk All right, Lord. she failed the vibe check. No new dialogues. Tis a shame. All right, let's let's fully explore. Cause we didn't. Oh, private gardens. We need a key for that. But we didn't fully explore the the palace. Oh, who is this fancy lady? Hello. Sill. Hello. <laughs> Did you hear? Did you hear? What do you want? I don't know. What are the rumors? The gatekeeper's been killed. 
this is only the first step. They'll be coming for me next. I mean, I killed the gatekeeper. Am I going to be coming for you? I don't know. I'm watching you. Oh, so maybe we're tasked with killing her later. Spooky. Oh, yeah, we didn't explore, fully explore the, the Shiogorath's castle. This is kind of sweet. Wooden door. Oh. Oh, it's stealing things if we grab it. Let's close the door, make sure no one looks at us. Red finery. Yeah, let's let's crouch a little bit, make sure, you know, no one sees us. Damage, uh, reflect damage 8%. Amber boots matrix. I don't know, I'm taking that. Taking this madness ore. We need the madness ore to create the madness items, guys. We also figured out in the last episode we can create like madness items or something like that. Like armors, new armors and stuff. So I'm pretty excited. We gotta stop by home to drop off these grumite stuff. Because it's weighing us down. It's weighing us down a lot. And you know, it's it's messing with the vibes right now. It's really messing with the vibes. And you know what? I'm not digging it. Okay. I'm gonna say it right here right now. I'm not digging it. No, I'm just kidding. It's cool. Uh, okay. So, this is a really cool room. Wow. They got a nice little setup here. A nice, like, wine section here. Really dope. Hopefully, Shio Gorath wasn't, uh, watching me steal. Because your boy was straight, you know, looting out there. I was pocket watching. We we're pocket watching, guys. Alright, let's continue exploring Shio Gorath's castle. Why, hello there, fine gentleman. Where are your shoes? Oh, he does have shoes. Herder! Speak, madman. Herder! Rumors? I'd buy my weapons at Cutter's. She has a way with blades. Ooh, okay. Alright, guys, so guys, hold on. I forgot to uh, tell let I forgot to let you guys know what the what we're gonna do in this video. So what we're gonna do in this video is if you guys watched the last video, you would know that we kind of explored Crucible. I'm gonna go over it just one more time, make sure we didn't miss anything, but we pretty much fully explored Crucible. Picked up all the quests, I believe, that uh, were uh, provided there. And so in this video, we're going to do all the Crucible quests. After we're done with the Crucible quests, we're going to do the first Shiogorath quest. And then we're going to go to Bliss. And then we're going to do Bliss. Do all the quests in Bliss. And then we'll do Shiogorath's second task. And then probably just keep doing Shiogorath's main quest. So that's, that's going to be the vibes. Hopefully you guys are digging it. Um, ooh, oh, we got a, um, we got a prisoner here. Alright. Finally, at least someone's doing their job here. Jeez, it looks like these things, like, come to life and start attacking you, like, in Mortal Kombat. Remember, like, Reptile in the old Mortal Kombat movie? Oh, dang, yo, they got a lot of people in here jailed up. Three people! Alright, so, here, Herder is doing his job. I'll just close the door right here. Let you get to business. Let you get to, uh, you know, doing your job. So dementia, there's like a dungeon there. Pretty scary. And here's Nelreen. Citizen. Blessings upon you. Whoa. Greetings. We got a lot of we got a lot of people here now. Anya Harris. Here we are. Safe indoors. Nothing to harm us here, is there? I hope not. She doesn't have any new dialogues. Let's talk See to it. Kithlan. Do you have business in the house of dementia? Yes. But he has no new dialogues. Alright, fine. <laughs> All right, fellas. Um, ooh, maybe we'll get a thumbnail here now that everyone's vibing out here in the in the little lobby here. Hey guys, you mind if uh, you mind if I bring you into the picture here? Oh no, it doesn't really can't really see them. It's fine. Let's go. Greetings. All right, so we're gonna do bliss after we do everything in Crucible. So we're gonna do all the quests here in Crucible. Really dope place. Really sick place. Our new Shayoth is pretty sick. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Because we chose- I chose Dementia, by the way. I chose the door to Dementia when entering into the Shivering Isles, like, officially entering in. Uh. And, um, yeah. So your boy is just gonna start off with Dementia, and then Blessing we'll do Bliss, citizen. uh, and we'll do Mania and Bliss after. Um, how do I get out of here, though? The door is- oh, over here, okay. So here we go. Let's go to Crucible, guys. So let's hear. Let's start the uh, questing adventures in Crucible, guys. Hopefully, you guys are excited. How may I serve? And uh, let's talk to. Oh, it's Hiris. Best not to talk about. Oh yeah, we got to talk to Hiris. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, so we got the quest Best not to talk about it here. Meet me after Let's dark listen. At the sewer grate northeast 
of the Shale Gorath statue. The sewer grate northeast of the Shale Gorath statue? Alright, sure, I'll do that, but let's do it a little bit later. Let's just see, let's see our quest, uh, quest logs. So we got a lot of things, guys, lots of things. Uh, let's start with Brythar. I've heard that Eirol has a problem with Brythar and wants something done about it. I should go and speak to him about it. So Eirol is a merchant in the uh, Crucible, and it looks like he's having some problems with a fellow named Brythar. So let's go ahead and figure out what the, what the problem is, and maybe we can help resolve the issues with the two young lads peacefully. Jeez, she's looking home, oh my god. You okay, lady? Greetings. You got some skooma, eh? Ooh, I do Rod have some buddy? skooma. Pal? To share? Come on. I don't know if you should I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can you should need uh use it right now though. I don't know if you should use it right now, Kaldana. Zealots have dedicated themselves to the worship hey, of Hey, why did your accent change? Freaking Kaldana, you FBI agent, I knew you were a secret undercover. Alright, it's about time. Give it me already. Dang, yo, she's going crazy. Get your own skooma. Here, take it. We'll give her a skooma. Oh, I can taste it already. Dang, yo, she's going crazy. Sweet, sweet skooma. Ooh, yo, she's going crazy. Here, you take this. It's all I've got. Dang, yo, you don't have to give me nothing. I mean, what did she give me? Cloth? She give me a cloth? Alright, I guess that's fine. Skooma, <laughs> hey, look at this. Oh, that's funny. Wait, did we not fully explore Crucible? I swear we did, right? Maybe I was so, like, tired, I didn't explore everything of Crucible. But Crucible's not, like, too entirely big. So, um... Yeah, maybe we didn't explore everything here? I don't know. I feel like we did, though. We went to Ariel's, Ariel's Mysteries. Yes. We talked to Ajazda yes. Cutter. We Do talked to Cutter. For a blade? We talked to Cutter. Spirit. It's a oh, I remember I was falling asleep when I was talking to her, but I think we went through everywhere. I'm pretty sure we went through everywhere. I don't think we went to the Museum, museum of Oddities, though. Let's make sure it's daytime, though. Let's make sure it's daytime so everything's, like, open. And then uh, we'll start the adventure. So we got to talk to Eril, Eril, and then we got to you know figure out you know what's causing him so much uh, trouble with him with Brythar. So that's gonna be pretty. That's gonna be pretty lit, guys. It's gonna be pretty lit. Oh, and we're over encumbered. Oh, jeez. Oh, I gotta stop by home. All right, we'll stop by home real quick. Dang, we're like so barely over encumbered, dude. It's crazy. Do we have any more feather potions? I don't think we do. All right, let's just use the um, this thing. All right, so guys, minor, minor detour. Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta go back. I gotta go back to the crib. We gotta go back to the crib, and then um, I gotta drop off. Let me save. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta throw all these things that we've got, we've gotten from um, yeah. the Shivering Isles, and just bring it back to the crib. Throw all that stuff back. So, sorry guys, we're back here in the regular Cyrodiil right now. Let me go ahead and drop some things off. No days off for that guy right there. No days off. I respect it though. I respect it. Alright, let's throw all of our goodies back into our crib. I guess we'll start off with the alchemy ingredients that we picked up. We picked up a lot of alchemy ingredients, guys. It's a it was a pretty sweet um little foraging adventure that we had right there. You know? Pretty sweet foraging adventure. Yeah, all this stuff. Look at this. All this stuff. Just throw it all back into the crib. Because this stuff is weighing us down for sure. That, plus the weapons that we picked up. Um, so yeah. It's pretty chill. Oh, let me like... Oh, no, no. We'll go upstairs and do the rest. Uh, let's put the wines here. Let's put the wines in here and like food. Do we put potions in here? I don't think I put potions in here, do I? Let's just put the potions in here. Let's put the skooma. No, no, we'll keep skooma because sometimes it's relate. Like uh, people will take it for the qu like just random interactions like we just saw. So I'll take that. Um, Ralmina's tear. We'll throw that back. That's like a cool little quest item that we could just hold on to. 
And then, um, clothes. Charity of Madness? That's pretty good, right? But hold on, that's... Yeah, that goes here. This goes there. Um... Z-Lot Hood, Z-Lot goes here. Let's go to the weapons now. Uh, Grumite Cleaver, throw it back. Grumite Cleaver, Grumite Dagger. Is there anything? Oh, shield. Could throw the shields in here too. Um, 405 carry weight. There's got to be something that's weighing us down just way too much, right? Ah, this, right? Amber Boots Matrix? I don't even know what that is. Let me drop it. Hold on, what does this look like? Amber Boots Matrix? That sounds very weird. Whoa, what the? That's cool. Hey, this is a cool little decoration. We'll put this in our room right here. We'll leave it here for now. That's a cool, um... It's a cool little thing. Cool little uh, decoration. I like that. Put a little cloth here from the, um... The beggar at uh, Crucible. We'll just leave that here for the, for the homegirl. Did we level up? Oh, I think we did level up, guys. Yeah, we did level up. Let's let's go to sleep. Let's take a little nap and then let's level up. Uh, is there anything else that's weighing me down, like very heavy? We're at three ninety five out of like four hundred something. We cut. We have the east. We have the east burden on, so it's making us have more weight. Carry weight. But um, yeah, I think we got to start using these arrows. Use this Daedric Mace, increase our blunt skills. Let's level up. Let's level up. Here we go. Max strength, boom, finally we hit it. Nice, guys. Agility. And then I'll go with a Endurance, right? I like speed, because you can move faster. Let's just go with speed, F it. All right, so we're maxed out on strength. Really sweet, really sweet. Uh, okay, so I think it's time to go back to the Shivering Isles, my bizad guys. Didn't mean to do that. Um, actually, I did mean to do that, but should have should have done it like off camera. It's all good though, guys. It's all good. Let's go through, and now we go back to Crucible. Here we go. Sorry, guys. So now let's talk to Eero. Hopefully it's still daytime. It is perfect. Look at this thing. It looks so creepy. Yeah, Ballwing has lost it. So what I've when I glimpsed that bliss, it's pretty much just like an alternate version of Crucible, from what it seems. They have like the same NPCs, but like they're alternate versions of them. Like Bali Wong over here, there's like an alternate Bali Wong. And he always talks to the guards, so it's very like it's very interesting. I'm very excited to explore Bliss. That could be it. That could not be it. Um, but I think that's how it's work. How Bliss and Crucible work. Um, but where is Eerol? Eerol? He's more up here. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Did we wait? We explored all of this stuff yesterday. Really? These were houses. That's probably why we didn't go inside. Sickly Bernice. We did talk to Sickly Bernice. We have to go get the cure for her. Um, I remember that. Things found. Did we check this place out? Yeah, we did. This is a Jasta. Okay. So I guess we did explore everything. I just was so like out of it that I don't even remember. All right, so let's go help Eerol. So we gotta help Eerol deal with Brythar. He's the Brythar's like pissing him off. We talked to Eerol earlier, and he. We actually got some dialogue out of him, but I had to reset because I was like, "Oops, we kind of went a little bit too far ahead." But now we are on time, guys. Let's well, go. Well, what is it you need? Please be quick about it. The seconds are ticking by as we speak. Oh, there go several more. Dang, man, dude, I just want to talk to you, bro. Thinking you're thinking about it like a freaking, like a freaking, I don't know, like a job or something. Relax, my guy. Oh, and we bought all of our summons from him. Oh wait, no, we didn't. Oh yeah, we did right here. Yeah, we bought all of the summons. We bought some new destruction stuff. Alright, let's talk to, let's talk about Brythar. 
Yes, he's a thorn in my side that never seems to go away. I'd had his heart on a plate Sheesh. if I could. I wish he'd simply disappear from the streets of New Sheoth forever. Oh, look! Just talking about it has given me another gray hair. Oh, stop it, Earl. You are exaggerating. Zealots have dedicated themselves to the worship of Arden Sul. Arden Sul? That lout? Yes, he's a thorn in my side that never seems to go away. I'd had his. I wish. Oh, wait, wait, oh, that was weird. Why didn't we get that? Why didn't we get this dialogue when we first talked to him? So here we go. We have a new dialogue. Why do you hate him so much? For one thing, he's a thief. Thief. Okay. But what irks me the most is that he's a bad thief. Oh, do explain. Between my shop and a few others in Crucible, he's been caught stealing maybe a dozen times last month. Okay. He's a thief. Who has time for this sort of thing? I mean, at this rate, I'll grow old and die before he's out of our hair. I'll tell you what I tell anyone else who asks. Get rid of him for me and I'll make it worth your while. Do her. Okay. Time's wasting. All right, quest updated, Brythar. Prove to me he's gone, and the reward is as good as yours. Now, please, get a move on. I feel my bones getting more brittle as we spit. Hey, man, come on, guys. It's not that serious, er, Earl. Please, come back soon. No telling what oddities I may have for you next This guy's acting like he's gonna freaking drop dead tomorrow. You're good, guy. You're good. Alright, so we gotta go deal with this guy named Brythar. We gotta- he's- he's been going around stealing things. It looks like he's- like, everyone's kinda sick of it. And, you know, we just gotta, you know, let him know, hey, buddy. It's time to freaking face the freaking music. AKA my mace. To your face. Alright. Um, either that or we could talk to him. And, you know, figure things out peacefully. I got fresh sticks. Guaranteed no leaves. Huh? Your lips to his ears. Rumors? That fool big head is always looking for the fork of horripilation. Forks? Goodbye. See ya. Alright, so let's try to talk to, uh, um, Brythar. Let's try to talk to Brythar. And hopefully we can just, like, you know... Just talk to him, make sure he doesn't just be like, hey man, just can you stop stealing things? Um, wait, I don't think we went inside here. Cutter's weapons? Wait, what is this? It's like an upstairs? Where's the downstairs? Museum of Oddities? No, no, right here, yeah. Cutter's weapons. Oh no, we did go in here. This is Cutter's place. Oh no, we didn't. You looking for me? Oh yeah, oh, dude, we did talk to Brythar in the last video. Whoa, look at this armor, guys. Dude, wait. Did I not explore this in the last video? Cutter's weapons? You looking for me? I am looking for you, Brythar. Hold on. I remember talking- Yeah, I know. I remember talking to Cutter. That is good. Forge armor. What is your- Oh, we can actually forge something. Hold on, hold on. Let's try to forge something first. Let's try um, a helmet. Let's see. The helmet probably looks the coolest, Head right? Wounds bleed profusely. Okay. So we made a. Oh, we can make weapons. Arrow. We can only make uh, arrow for now. Perfect madness helmet. Wait, wait. Hold on. Need something sharp. Stabbing. She doesn't sell madness stuff. You have to forge it. Okay. I'm there. Hold on. Hold on, guys. We might have got the juice Girl's right there. Mystery sells a number of unique spells. Doesn't sell any mysteries. So it looks like Brythar hangs out with Cutter, or either that or he works here. But let me see how let me check out this helmet though real quick. Hold on. We might have got the new sauce. So let's see our old helmet. It's a uh, nine armor. We had resist magic 20%. That's only eight armor. What the heck? Ooh. So it looks like this set is the one that was in the glass case. This thing is worse though. It's perfect. It's, it's worse by one armor. We'll keep on this one. Alright, let's talk to Brythar. Brythar, you need to... The jig is up, guy. Everyone knows you're a freaking petty thief, and you're literally so bad at doing it, alright? Get your freaking uh, egg carton head ass out of this freaking town, or I'm gonna freaking have to freaking take you out myself, alright, guy? Well... Hello Had to give him that little talk it's there. It's good to see such a well-equipped individual as yourself around these parts. Yeah, yeah, save the sweet talk you for when you're tired. behind bars, Brythar. all that will do that to you. I'd be glad to shoulder some of the burden. 
relieve you of that. Oh, I bet you would now, Brythar. And then you, when I'm not looking, you're gonna or just turn around and run. Else I can take from that. I mean, help you with. I'm catching on to you, Brythar. You're a dirty little rat, and I'm here to expose you to all of Crucible Every and to Lord Shiogora. Into their manic All right, we're getting we're getting into it, guys. All right, Brythar. I know what people say about me. I'm not completely stupid, you know. It's just that I like to collect things. <coughs> You're a klepto. You're a kleptomaniac, Brythar. Just admit it. We're I here for you. Myself. Your mom. Is your grandmother. Empty. All I need are five. They're hurting. Bruh. And I'm done. How hard could that be? Flawless pearls, what? Beautiful gems, they are. They can be found all over the Shivering Isles, in treasure chests and the like. What? Excuse me. I have important things to do. Did we did we just get a quest from this guy? Brythar has refused to stop his crime spree because his collection is incomplete. I may be able to use this to my advantage. I need to bring fly five flawless pearls to him. Otherwise, I may have to seek more creative or violent means to obtain Eros rewards. So sheesh, we might have to just straight slay his ass. So, you have the pearls? Or pre Beautiful gems. Um, our our uh, disposition disposition is maxed with him, so we can't like. There's no other uh, dialogues that he can have, like if he's like more, if he likes us more. So we have to find Excuse these flawless pearls. Either that, or we have to freaking slay his ass. So um, I think we might have to just slay his ass. No, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna do it. Tradition. All right, let's talk to ear. Where where Brythar go? What? Where do you go? You just dipped? You sure took your time. Oh, here I am. Okay. Oh, oh, and he goes, wait, what? You sure took your time. What do you mean? Alright, this guy's freaking me out. Let's talk to Eril again. Let's let him know, hey, um... We just talked to Brythar. Have you dealt with Brythar? I'm not getting any younger here waiting for you. You must hurry and get rid of him. Oh, he doesn't have any new dialogues. All right. Please, come back soon. So we need no flawless time. pearls. They can be found all throughout treasure chests throughout the Shivering Isles. How may I serve? So it looks like this quest we could complete it right now, uh, which I don't want to do, um, or we could, you know, do uh, do it later by, you know, just you know, figuring things out peacefully, which I want to do. So Brythar, looks like the Brythar quest is gonna be put on hold. Let's go to the next quest, guys. So here we go. Hiris Clutumnus told me to meet him after dark at the sewer gate northeast of the statue of Shiogorath sitting on his throne. Which is right here. North, wait, what? Northeast? Okay. Here's Hiris right here. Best not. Hiris. Palace grounds? No, this isn't it. What? Um, uh, wait. Let me find. At the sewer grate northeast of the statue of Sheogorath sitting on his throne. The statue of Sheogorath sitting on his throne. Where's the statue of him sitting on his throne? Is it in Crucible? A statue of Shiogorath sitting on his throne. Hmm. Oh, is that the um is it at the entrance? Bisha. Blessings of the mad. I don't think we talked to Bisha. Only the demented can truly Maybe we did. See you. Alright, where's the statue? I'm trying to look for the statue here. It's not in like the town hall. That this is the only statue that I've, you know, seen. Ah, there, yeah, it is. This is the right one. I serve. So this is Shiogorath sitting on his throne. That is Shiogorath right here. And the sewer gate is right over here. We're really about to talk to... Have a secret meeting. Like, literally right next to the guard. Hearus. This guy Hearus is crazy. Alright, let's start doing the next quest. So it looks like Brythar, we're going to put it on hold. Because we're going to, you know... I don't want to kill, um... 
I don't want to kill Brythar, so... Well, you know, we're gonna try to do things peacefully, do things in a way where, you know, everyone gets to survive, for real. And, um, yeah. It's gonna be a great time, guys. So, yeah, but Brythar is gonna be on hold. Oh, here we go. Hey, my buddy. Greetings. Greetings to you. <sighs> I'm glad you came. So, are you interested in... Why are you talking like that? Are you interested in earning some loot? Yeah, of course. Great. There's a... A simple task. Yes. A simple task that you must perform. Jeez, dude acting like he's like freaking like... About to like... I don't know, like... This life, it's... Well... It's crazy. It's too painful. He's acting a little too excited. Everywhere I look, I see death. Dying and decay. And when I dream... I see a world without sunshine. Dang. I'm constantly on the verge of retching up, or falling asleep, or screaming at someone who doesn't deserve it. I'm just so fed up with it all. Dang, guy. I'm sorry you're having a bad day. So what? What's this to me? Why don't you just kill yourself? Oh, shoot. I'm sorry you're having a bad day. I'll just say, oh, I'm sorry you're having a bad day. A bad day? A bad day? Oh. Try a miserable existence. Hey, my bad here is. There's no point in talking about it. Action must be taken. You must. I need you to kill me. Holy bro. Why don't you just kill yourself? Have you seen those miserable souls on the hill of suicides? Oh. Do you think that kind of existence okay. is any better than this? No. You must kill me. No, dude. How do you want to die? There's no other dialogue, so how do you want to die? All right, here is how the freak do you want to die, guy? I don't necessarily want to see it coming. And I want to die here in the city so all these people finally believe me. They'll wish they were nicer. You this isn't the right way, here is. Spectators, though, so you don't get in trouble. Best to make it look like an accident. Huh? But remember... I don't want to see it coming. Take me unaware. All right. It should look accidental. How? Well, that's up to you, I suppose. I'm going to go about my daily life, such as it is, as if nothing has changed. Make your move when you wish, but uh, please do it soon. And about this reward. Oh, that. When you kill me, take the key to my house. Nothing really worth taking, except what's locked up in the jewelry box. You what the have. heck? Okay. I'm going to pretend everything <laughs> is normal. Make your move as soon as you can, but let me get away first so I don't know it's coming. What? Please, no! Wait, what? I thought he wanted to. I thought he wanted to do it while he like I didn't notice or while he didn't notice. Yeah. That's so yeah. Okay, so we gotta kill Hiris. All right, so let's just follow Hiris. Let's check out uh, you know what he does on his everyday daily basis, and then after we do that, we gotta figure out a way to kill him, um, without making it you know or we have to figure out a way to kill him and make it seem as if it was an accident. So, um, hmm, very strange. Enemies explode. Require destruction skill of 100. Yeah, how am I going to make it seem like it was an accident? That's weird. It just says, and it just says, the quest just says, ask that I kill him. Dude, what a weird quest. What a weird quest. Alright, here. So we gotta do it when he's... You know... Kind of in the public. So people know that he was suffering and stuff. And that, like, they should have been nice. People should have been nicer to Hiris. Um, but he wants to make it look like it was an accident. I don't know how I'm supposed to make it look like it was an accident. Can we, can we talk to him again? Okay. I'm going to pretend he just says the same everything thing. is normal. Make your move as soon as you can, but let me get away first. Don't let me see it coming. Don't worry, guy. 
Please, no! We could just kill him right here if we want to, but I kind of want to just, like, stalk him a little bit. Brythar. We got Brythar. This dude. This menace. Menace to society. Where's he going? Let's, yeah, let's stalk, um, Hearus a little bit. See what he does. Cause it's, uh, it's 11, 11, it's 11, 11 p.m. right now, so it's pretty late. So now will be a great time to, you know, kill Hearus. So we're gonna do it pretty soon, guys. It's just, um, I wanna kinda, you know... You know, we're gonna let him live out his, you know, last couple of minutes. Letting him do what he do what he normally does. Before we eventually grab Umbra and slice him in the throat. We're being seen. Here, let me see. Med. Can we make her push him off the thing? I don't think Lord. so. So yeah, he chills over here. But like, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to do anything. We gotta somehow push him off that this thing. We gotta somehow push him off this thing. Maybe if we shoot a fireball. Here, let's save. Let's save real quick. Just in case we get caught. So, I guess maybe we could just shoot a fireball at him. Or right, let's shoot an arrow at him. Alright, so I got my arrow ready. We're used- we had to bring a Khajiiti on, though, but I have my arrow. Drop your weapon! Uh, okay, we- we F that up. Redo. Alright, how am I supposed to knock him off of the th thing? Maybe we gotta go down. Maybe we gotta strike him from down here, down below. Shoot him with a little arrow here. There we go. Let's try here. Da! No, not like this. Oh, we still got seen. Dang, yo, how does she see me? It's crazy. So, hmm, I don't know. I don't know how we're supposed to kill him. Maybe like telekinesis him? Let me see what happens when we telekinesis him. I don't think that'll do, I don't think this will do anything though. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Probably only on objects. Okay, that didn't do anything. Sometimes I. Oh, here we go. New dialogue. Everything looks so small from up here. Makes me feel better, you know? Like I'm not so small myself. Okay. But that feeling only lasts a little while. And I start thinking about how miserable everything is. And then all I want to do is step off the ledge. Ruh row, Raggy. I can't just jump. Don't want to end up on the hill. But I hope that someday, maybe, a big gust of wind will come and push me off. So I can end a it. A big all. gust of wind, you say? Today's your lucky day, and then push. Good luck with all that. Um, all right, today's your lucky day. Push. What? Can't you? Oh. Wait, hold on. Hiris Clutumness is dead, just as he wanted. I can now get my reward from his house. The key should be on his corpse. Someone really ought to put up a railing. That happens all the time. 
Someone really ought to put up a railing. Mad God. Hey, we didn't get a bounty either. What the heck? No bounty. All right. Well, that was it. So that was the um, Hero's Clementus quest. Um, a very strange quest indeed. Um, I'm sorry, Hiris. I'm sorry I had to do that to you. I have Hiris a Clutumness. Uh, Clutumness is house key. I should go claim my reward from his jewelry box. Um, Alright, guy. Um, well, it was uh, nice knowing you. I'm sorry that you were going through so much pain, though. Uh, hopefully it's uh, it's better. So we basically just pushed the homie off, and um, yeah, it looks like the guard didn't really care either. So um, shit. I mean, I want. I wish we could have solved it a better way, but I mean, I guess that was the only way. He wanted to die, and we were his, you know, release. Alright, so let's go to Hiris' house. Alright, so now we have Hiris' house. Um, jeez, I don't even want to know what's going on with that thing. But, um, te technically we can now live in this house now. So, the first, the beginning of the house is like some freaking torture chamber, freaking crazy guy, freaking human centipede room. And then now we have, oh, we just have his room. Oh, it's a pretty small place, hey. So we got some wine. Excuse me. Black finery? What is this? I think it's clothes. A ring of happiness. Feather, light, water walking. Okay, that's pretty cool. I've claimed my reward. Hiris Clutumness's will. Alright, let's read Hiris' will. It looks like he had a bunch of crumbled up piece of paper. Wow. Just like writing his will down, I guess. He couldn't figure it out. You're just writing his will. Liter uh, liturgy of Affliction. Um, let's read um, uh, Hiris' will, though. Let's hear his final words. Uh, let's read the whole thing. Yeah, it's pretty. It's not too long. So, uh, wow, yeah, what an interesting quest. Just literally pushing someone off of a cliff and then stealing their freaking. and then taking all their, like, belongings. Um, uh, but, be it, but, like, he what he told us to do it, you know, so. But, yeah, what a weird quest. Uh, let's read, though. I've wanted to die for quite some time. Things just aren't going right. Never have gone right. Really. No one seems to care either. Nor even notice I exist. Not that I'd have much to say, even if someone had wanted to be my friend. I'd make a lousy friend anyway. I'm probably even boring the person reading this. I'm certainly boring myself. Not that anyone will ever find this note. Oh, but if they do, if they do, it means that I've been granted my greatest wish, to be released from this mortal coil. This isn't a suicide note. Sorry. No, that would mean I've taken my own life, and we all know what that means. Who wants that kind of existence? To be reborn on a hill every day, reset as if nothing ever happened. That's even worse than the life I'm living. Life I've lived. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure I'm happy now. The dead me, the me writing this note isn't happy at all. Never have been happy, really. Anyway, the purpose of this note is to say to the man or woman who has killed me, thank you. All I really have is this queer little ring. A wizard gave it to me once. Said I reminded him of his dead son. I guess I resemble his dead son even more now. Anyway, he said it would make me happy. Lift the weight of the world off my shoulders, or some such thing. Come to think of it, it's the only time anyone has ever given me anything. Personally, I think the thing is worthless, just like me. I tried it for a while, the happiness ring, but eventually I couldn't wear it anymore. It made me feel odd, not myself. I didn't like feeling that way, so I locked it away. It's pretty enough, though. It might fetch a few gold coins at the merchant. Sorry not to leave much more behind, but... My life never really amounted to much anyway, did it? Yours truly, here is Clutumnus deceased. Damn. I didn't mean to make fun of this guy like that, you know, because it seems like he really was going through just a lot of pain. Just felt 
like he was worthless, felt like no one cared about him. The only time he, he's never even received gifts from people, the only time he received a gift from him was like a wizard. Um, he just didn't like living, you know? Um, and I really wish that someone was there to like, you know, be his friend or be like a father figure or like a mother figure for him because it looks like he didn't really have anything to really, you know, be to hope for, or like live for, or to be happy for. So, you know, RIP to that boy, uh, Hiris. Um, unfortunately, I killed him. I mean, so I, I don't know. I feel kind of bad, but like, dang, man, he, he wanted it. And I, I don't know, like, we could have, I mean, I feel like you can just not complete the quest and have Hiris stay alive the entire time, but. I mean, we're just, it's, it's a quest, we'll just complete it, you know, just for, you know, the whole story of it, but, um, yeah, man, that was a, um, that was a crazy quest, really crazy quest, so yeah, um, R.I.P. to that boy Hiris, R.I.P. to that boy Hiris, alright, so that was, uh, Hiris Clotumnus's quest, very strange, um, very, very strange. He, like, out of nowhere just wanted you, the wanted the main character to just, like, you know, push him off a cliff or something, and I don't know, it's just, it's just very weird. Alright, next quest, guys. We got a bunch of quests that we need to do. We got a bunch of quests that we need to do. Sickly Bernice. Or, a liquid solution. So let's read. Sickly Bernice has told me the cure for her mysterious malady is a sample of water from a pool at the bottom of Naughty Bramble that she calls Aquano Aquanostrum. She's marked the location on my map. I should make my way there and recover this miraculous antidote. So here we go. We got to go to the Naughty Bramble. And uh, we're going to enter our first cave uh, for a quest. So that's going to be um, a lot of fun, guys. So here we are, guys. Um... This is the second quest. That first quest was a little morbid, not gonna lie. Um, but I guess that's just like how the people are living here in this um, in this world. Very, very spooky. Very, very spooky. Uh, okay, so let's just do the next quest. So a liquid solution. Um, if you guys don't remember, Sickly Bernice is the owner of. Uh, do, 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 do. She's the owner of. Gosh dang it. I think it's um Oh Tap House. She owns a tap house. So like a, is that like a is that like a winery or like a beer place? But I mean she's she's the owner of the tap house, she's really sick, so we gotta go help her find the cure. So let's go to this cave called Naughty Bramble, find this thing called Aquanostrum or whatever, and that should help uh, sickly Bernice, you know, get just a lot more healthier. So let's just go ahead and start fighting. So we got a lot of enemies here. Let's actually uh, use our blunt weapon. Increase our blunt skills. So we're just swinging. It doesn't look like I'm swinging, but we're swinging, guys. Let's use our fireball attack. Increase our destruction skills. We still don't have destruction at level 100, and we are, you know, a mage. Yo, Charizard is getting worked right now. Yo, he got worked. I ain't even gonna lie. This guy kind of owned him. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This guy should be dying soon, though. All right, we're just gonna start swinging because he's just like not attacking. I was holding my shield up. But, um, yeah. Am I am I even hitting this guy? I'm confused. I think I am. Yeah. He's just really tanky. Oh, there we go. He's gone now. We got another one though. Grumite Painbringer. This guy was kind of like AFK the whole time. Uh oh, we missed that one. Let's resummon Charizard. Yeah. Oh, there we go. He's gone. All right, we'll take the arrows. Take these um, alchemy ingredients. Okay. So this was the um, a cave that we explored. It was like Black Root Lair or something like that. Yeah, Black Root Lair. So um, we're not going here though. We gotta go to Naughty Bramble. And find the cure for our homegirl, Sickly Bernice. And hopefully she makes it out alive, you know? I, I really wish that there was a way to save Hiris. You know, but I don't think there's a way to save him. Um, obviously, the only way to save him is by not pushing him off the cliff. And just leaving him there and just not killing him ever. 
But I don't know. I just wanted to complete the quest. I don't know. But yeah, we def we we definitely killed them ourselves, which is pretty bad. Oh my god! That thing scared me. There we go. I think these things are the things that have statues of them. The Scallons? Very weird. Alright, so it looks like we have to go down this road here. Papa right skis. And yeah, what's this green, like, little, like, w like, Navi, like, wisp thing that's been here? Not sure. I've just been seeing it everywhere, though, on our little adventure so far. Throughout the shiver, throughout the aisles. What's down here? What the heck? Is that, oh, this, this is a Dillion. Oh, okay, so this is for uh, the main quest. Yeah. Alright, so here we are. We're about to do our first dungeon in the Shivering Isles, guys. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe, baby. Appreciate all you guys. Alright, let's go. First dungeon -a. I want to be careful when approaching the entrance because there's, you know, there's bound to be some enemies lurking. Some Grumites. Those dirty Grumites. You found Naughty Bramble? Sweet. Oh, yeah, we got a little Grummy guy here. We got a Grummy. We got a Grummy. Pull behind him. Just smack him down. Ah! Okay, and now we're just going to get straight to business. Oh, dang, yo, he's swinging on me, yo. Chill. Oh, yo, he got stunned. Nice, yo, Charizard owned him. Oh, dang, yo, he got owned. We got another guy here. Dang, yo, Charizard's owning. He's, like, stunning him. Look, when did Charizard have these spells? When did Charizard have paralyzed spells? What the heck? Dude. I was like, wait, hold on, am I swinging? It doesn't look like I'm swinging, but I am. Yo, Charizard kind of owns. I might have mistaken Char. Yeah. My bad, bro. My bad, home slice. Didn't mean to do that to you. Just keep shooting fireballs at him, okay. We're out of mana. Dang, I can't believe we still haven't increased our blunt skill yet. Oh, nice, we got him, though. What's our blunt at? What's our blunt at? Oh, there we go. It's about to be leveled up. Alright, so we're almost there. Alright, so here we are. We are at the Naughty Bramble. Uh, is this it? Oh, here we go. Yeah, right here. And, uh, we have to find something called a Quanostrom or whatever. I've entered Naughty Bramble. I should make my way carefully to the pool Sickly Bruni spoke of and recover a sample of a Quanostrom. Ooh, and look at this, guys. Look at this. We got a new cave system. We got ourselves a new cave system. Very sweet. I like this. I like this, you know? Just a whole new little, you know, re like uh, just a whole different cave vibe. Something that I haven't been se haven't seen before. Really sick. A lot of variety. I'm digging it. Is that an enemy or what? I have no idea. Oh, what the? Amber. Ooh. Hollowed amber stump. Okay. I'm taking that. I'm taking everything here. Alright, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Farm these little mushroom things. Let me check out the map. Oh, the thing is straight ahead. So let's go right first, I think. Yeah, let's go right first. Let's check out the right side. And then we'll, you know, do the quest last. Okay. Alright, we gotta help- Oh my god, there's three of them. There's three, guys. We gotta be swinging heavy. We gotta be swinging hard. Blunt skill increased. Let's go, baby. Charizard's probably gonna be taking a big beat in here. So we gotta be quick. We gotta be very quick. We gotta deal with the fir Okay, first Grummite down. First Grummite down. Let's go, baby. Oh, Charizard's gone. Yep. We gotta resummon. Let's go, baby. I'm swinging. We're swinging hard. Alright. Boom. Dang, yo, these guys are going crazy on me right now. But I'm kind of doing the same thing. Oh, I wish you guys could see right now. There's so much action happening. It's crazy. 
Feels like I'm in one of those freaking uh, Liam Neeson's movies. You know? Or those freaking uh, Jason Statham's or whatever. You know? Oh, dang! Yo, Charizard! Oh, no, he's, he, I thought he died. Okay, he's good. He's, he died now. Let's go. We're still swinging. We're still swinging hard. Boom. What's up, guy? Bam. Nice. Another girl might down. Let's go, baby. Oh, let's use our bow, too, as well. I also need a drink, because my mouth is dry as F, and... I have nothing. I have no water. I ran out. Alright, he should be dead soon. Let's kill him with uh, some destruction. There we go. Nice. Dude, that was a solid fight. Took a little while, but, you know, we got the job done here. Got the job done. Go ahead and harvest all of these things, these weird looking things. Take it back home, you know. Uh, okay, pretty sweet. That was a nice little battle there. So, let me check the map. Where am I going? Just deeper into the cave system, I'm assuming. Maybe we'll see like some sort of like living quarters for these Grumites. That would be pretty interesting. Wait, what, what's the what enemy is watching me? Oh, he's right there. I don't know how to get through though. Dang, this thing goes deep, guys. Oh, what the? Hold on. I don't even realize that. Wow, there's an amber stump on that branch right there. Um, oh my god, yeah, this thing goes deep, man. Whoa! Oh, okay, hold on. That was like a trap there, so they have their own traps. Little booby traps here. Oh, we got a grumite here. Um, does he see me? I don't know. Oh, here's a bed. Okay. So now we know that they have like little beds here. Human remains. Very spooky. Right, let's go ahead and deal with this guy. F you. F you. Boom, right here. This guy's pretty weak, so he should be going down fairly soon. Shoot him with a little fireball. Boom, he's dead. Let's go uh, to the next opponent. We got the Death Dealer here. This guy looks a lot bigger. Oh, we got another guy here. Alright, it's a little, we're having a little fiesta party. We gotta get down. I thought it was gonna be a little chill fight sesh, but nope. They brought out the big guns. But two can play at that game. Alright. Two can play at that game. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a drink after this. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. And I also have to return some shoes, guys. Dude, I, I got the Royal Reimagines, guys, from my local JD. And, dude, I thought I was gonna like them. Dude, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. And, I mean, they're alright. Like, I'll give them, like, a 6.5 out of 10. But they're not even, like, a 7 out of 10. I would give them. And that's, that's just my personal opinion. But, yeah, I didn't really like them too much. They, they weren't that... They, I, they, I just thought they weren't executed as good as they could have. But I don't know. They're okay. Like, don't get me, don't get it wrong. They're okay. They're not bad. But like, for me, it's a no go for me. Let's just go. We're just gonna start fighting. Where am I, by the way? Wait, what? Why is the red symbol there now? So maybe we were supposed to go here the whole time. Oh wow, that guy died real fast. All right, let's just go ahead and start swinging. I mean, I'm gonna start blasting. Oh, nice. Yeah, he got owned. Potion of healing. The heck? All right, what's here? Oh, it's like um. I don't know. Where's the enemy? Oh my, here he is. We got a torturer here. Yeah, lots of grumites here. Lots of grumites. Hella grumites. 
They're these ugly mother effers. Oh, okay, he's gone. Yeah, ugly mother effers. Take the arrow. Okay, it looks like finally we're at like a end of the road. Oh, no, just kidding. Oh, this is where the um the branches were. Oh, oh, okay. I got it. Let's go back though. We're not done yet. We're not done with you. We gotta go all the way down here. This looks like, it looks like this is just a one zone dungeon. Let's just fireball this guy to death. We might be able to just fireball him to death. And we did. Let's go. Amber. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. What's this? Naughty Bramble Hatchery. Oh, no. This is two zones. This is two zones. What's over here, though? We could check it when we um get there. When, when we leave, I mean. So, Naughty Bramble. What was this called again? Naughty Bramble Hatchery? What is that in front of me? That better not be an enemy. Okay, it's just it's not. It's a statue. I was about to freak out. What is that? Oh, it's like Shiogorath, the triple heads. Or, I don't know. Maybe. Ooh, whoa! Look at this, guys! Okay, okay. This is sweet. So we got a new cave system. Really dope. Um, okay, I thought it said there was something there. Alright, let's go across this piece of wood and let's kill homie. Ah! We should be able to just fire blast him, right? Hit me with your dagger. This guy has a crab on his chest. This guy does have a crab on his chest. Interesting tattoo choice there, my guy. Maybe he just loves crab. Aster Bloom Core? I don't know what that is, but I'll take all of them. He got me pretty low there. Okay, so just like a little treasure here. Nothing else. Alright, let's crouch. Because we could find some enemies. So we gotta be careful. We gats to be careful. We gats to be careful. Not got. We gat. Alright, what's here? Oh, it's an enemy right here. Okay. we go. Uh. Probably just like a couple more hits and he's dead. Uh. 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 Or maybe not. Maybe not. Uh. Should be going down soon. Uh. Oh my god, there's a guy right next to me. What the heck? Uh. Oh, it's a, this is a... Okay, there we go. He's gone. Nice. Okay, our blunt skill increased. Nice. We definitely gotta bring Charizard into this mess. Cause I'm seeing a lot Whoa. of Grumites in that uh, bottom area where the water is. Probably where our quest item is, where the Aquanastrom is. Alright, so let's go ahead and summon Charizard. Cause this guy is, he's all in my case right now. He's 100% on my case right now. And he's draining the F out of my strength. But we are blocking him amazingly. He's not even able to get some hits off on him. On us. Let's go, Charizard. I'm blocking. You're swinging, alright? I'm tanking. You're, I'm tank your DPS. I need I need more DPS from you. We're gonna need some DPS. More, more DPS from you. Alright, he, he did it. He did his job. Alright, good job there, Charizard. You did a great job there, my friend. Alright, let's go down to this water area. Into the water we go. Into... 
I've arrived at the pool sickly Bernice described that should get as close as possible to the statue in its center to gather a sample of the Aquanostrum. Okay. Some eggs? I'll take the eggs. Give me these eggs. I'm trying to make some freaking uh, scrambled eggs, baby. I've recovered a sample of a, a quantum from the pool of sickly, uh, the pool sickly Bernice described. I should return to New Shayat and present it to her for my well-deserved reward. Okay. Oh my! Oh, we got a lot of homies. They, they ambushed us. We're here at their breeding ground, so I mean, I guess it, it makes sense. But we're gonna take all of their eggs. I'm gonna turn it into a freaking, uh, we're gonna have it a freaking, like, the freaking egg slut sandwiches. You guys know what I'm talking about? He said we're gonna have grumite egg sandwiches. Sounds absolutely disgusting, but you know what? We're about to just try it. You know, life's all about taking risks, am I right? I'm gonna have to start the grumite, um, breakfast sandwich shop. Might have to. These guys are grown from eggs, though. These guys are nasty. He's a little nasty, nasty. Let me use my uh, magic potion because these things are definitely weighing me down. <coughs> Excuse me. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Oh, there's a little path there. I didn't even see that. Alright, there we go. Or oh, block skill increase. Nice. Haven't seen that in a little bit. Uh oh. Charizard, please. I need your assistance. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, man. These guys are tough. So we had literally... This is our third Charizard, I think. Oh, there we go. They're both dead. Nice. Woo! Those are some pretty tough opponents. Okay. It looks like everything's uh, cleared out, though. Let's just snag up all more of these eggs since we're already here. Might as well, right? Just get all these eggs. Get all the eggs. Let me see the map. Um, yeah, what's up here though? Naughty Bramble. <clears throat> Let me check that pathway down here. What's over here? It's just some. It's so random. Like, what the heck is this? Oh. What is this? A uh, Naughty Bramble Lost Crypt? Wait, I don't think we've ever been here. We haven't. What the heck? Yo, there's so much this this um this place is huge. So technically we could leave if we want to, but let's just do everything here. Let's do everything here. Oh, okay, we got a little uh the little monkey frog thing. Go ahead and just deal with that guy. Looks like he had no homies with him. What is this guy? The Baliwog? Okay, so we got that. Uh, and then we got a path over here. Oh, it's just the uh, enemy. Or it's just a dead end with an enemy in here. Let's go ahead and let him, you know, get him well acquainted with Charizard here. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought I was stuck for a second. Uh, I need to make sure I get a thumbnail, so we're gonna just be doing like questing. The, the title's gonna be like Questing in Crucible. <clears throat> oh, I need to get a drink. Give me one sec, guys. Let me save too. Oh, my premiere's starting. Guys, watch the premieres. Hello. I will write in the chat right now. I wrote in the chat. Hello. Guys, say something in the premiere, please. I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna get a drink. Alright, guys. I got my drink. I got my drink. I'm ready to game, baby. Let's do it. So we're gaming. We're gaming. All right, so we're in this third zone of the Naughty Bramble. Pretty large place, if you ask me. Oh my. 
Oh, we have a different guy. We have a pain bringer. This guy's like a, a magic user, huh? Let's see what he does. So yeah, I was, oh, okay. Well, he didn't really do too much. He didn't really do too much, not gonna lie. Um, but that was cool. He had like a staff. Haven't seen that on a Grumite before. And what's that? We have like the flame of dementia or whatever. We got a dead we got a dead body. We got a madness ore deposit. Oh yeah. Need that. Need that. Look at this place, huh? This thing what this place just turned into like a freaking like like a um Catacombs or whatever, you know? Pretty cool. What did this place turn into? Whoa, what the heck? There's a dead guy right here. He's it's not bones though. Who is this guy? What the heck? I can't look at him. I can't like click the body. It won't let me click the body, but she's dead. Um, very interesting. Oh, and there's another one. What kind of crazy sort of thing is happening here, huh? Creepy. It's called the Lost Crypt. Okay, so there's two dead bodies here. Can I burn them? Nope. Um, yeah, not sure what's going on with that type of action. With that type of vibe. Venomous Balwogs. We have a Venomous Ballywog. Nice. This one's a little bit bigger. Okay. Dude, very weird. So we have like this... Whoa! So we have like this crypt action. And there was like these two humans actually. Um, you know, in these like grave sites or whatever. Oh, we got paralyzed. Um, that was very interesting. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to resummon. I meant to shoot fireballs. I meant to shoot the fireballs. Here, let's just use our potions, our magical potions, and just start just spamming fireballs at this dude's face. There we go, just like that. Let's do the same thing to this to his other homie here. Like this. Boom, like that. Like that. Charizard, please help me, Charizard. Thank you. Oh, this look at this. This is one ugly mother effer, dude. One ugly mother effer. Dang, the range on that attack was crazy, bro. Alright, come on. Keep swinging. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. Alright, we're good. We good. Ooh, Madness Ores. Nice. We need that for our Madness set. Definitely gotta, you know, throw that in the crib as well. Once we have a full, completed set of that bad boy. Ooh, this is good stuff, guys. Good stuff here. We're gaming. We're gaming. Alright. You see it. You see it right here, baby. Alright. On the YouTube channel. Only here, baby. Only here. Sorry. Okay. Okay. This. Guys, you guys want to be following my TikTok, alright? If anyone is even watching this, you want to be following my TikTok. I'm going to be uploading some more skate videos, alright? We're going to be uploading my journey progression into doing, um... Yeah! Uh, journey, my, my progression of, you know, getting kickflips down. I've never landed a kickflip in my life, but I kind of understand how to do it, so I'm just gonna be like, that's gonna be my next TikTok, because I'm gonna be just practicing, um, dang, he got owned. It's gonna be practicing kickflips. So I'll show you guys my, um, really bad, um, kickflips. Well, they're like half kickflips. Oh, man, really? Yeah, I'll show you guys them. 
Make sure you guys follow me on the TikTok. I forget my TikTok name. It's like, I think it's like B0894 or something like that. It's on my about page in my YouTube channel. So just check that out. Just make sure to check it out. Check out the vibes. Oh wow, so we're, oh, we're just back at the beginning of the uh, crypt. Okay, so this is the last zone. Just uh, in a full circle. I don't understand the purpose of this though. There is nothing... Oh, there's a centerpiece? Wait, did we miss the centerpiece? Oh, we did, right? Because it was caged up. Um, you know what? Screw it. I don't freaking care. There's probably nothing there. That was interesting, though. You couldn't even interact with the body, so I couldn't even see, like, the names on them. So I didn't know who they were, where they came from. Nothing. It was just simply... No-namers. So, okay, let's go straight ahead. There's a place that we haven't explored straight ahead. Let's go check it out. My phone is going crazy right now. I really think I should check my phone. Uh, I'll do that in a second, though. Uh, okay, so we got our blunt skills increased by two levels. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Naughty Bramble. And, oh, we got another little blockage here. Alright, here we go. Where are we? Where am I? Someone tell me. Uh, we want to go straight and then right. Okay, yeah, straight and right. Okay, perfect. Ah, that this is the entrance. Okay. Naughty Bramble. There you have it, my friends. Naughty Bramble completed. Let's go, baby. Alright. So here we go. Oh, it's nice and bright out. I like it. I like this. Alright. Um, Back to Crucible we go. I'm going to try to get all the Crucible quests done in this video. If I can't, then we're going to continue the next video. But um, I'm going to try to get all the Crucible quests done. Um, hopefully I could do it today. Because I have to stop by finish line to return these Royal Reimagines, like I said. I just, I just wasn't feeling them. They just... I feel like they messed up, not messed up, but like they just didn't do the color right, in my opinion. But hey, man, teach your zone. If you like it, you like it. Buy what you like. Do whatever. Bernice, my, Please, my fair lady. My remedy. I hope you have something for me. I do. The cure. Let me see. Yes, this is it. Please accept this as a gesture of thanks. <laughs> Is the least I can do for you. After all, you saved my life. I got you, girl. Okay, what do we get? Aquant? No. Hold on. Man, I had to freaking hold on. Let me make sure I'm in focus. This my camera's probably out of focus. Yeah. Man, I had to freaking, I had to freaking talk some smack to this guy. Freaking sending me some BS. Some freaking BS, bro. Dude is asking me for freaking ninety dollars on a freaking shoe. It's like, dude, are you freaking crazy? I'm already giving him it under retail. I'm already giving him the shoe under retail. Dude is asking for so much more under retail, bro. Yeah, no. Nah, let me freaking let me freaking keep smack talking this guy. Let me keep smack talking this guy. I'm selling the shoe. Listen to me, guys. I'm selling the shoe below retail. And he's telling me to, and he wants to do it even more below retail. Dude, what? Like, dude, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm literally selling the shoe below retail. And even after shipping fees, he's going to get it below retail, I think. Yeah, he's going to get it below retail. The shoe retails for about like 150 after taxes. He's going to get it for after me. I think he's going to get it for like 140 or something like that. 140, 135 or something like that. Um, 122, 122 plus 15 dollars shipping. 37, 137? I don't know, dude. It's it's below retail, dude. Freaking guy. And I and I no, I offered him 110. I offered him even 110 lower than what I've been asking. I said 122. I offered him 110, bro, and he didn't even take it, dude. That's that's not my problem. 
Like, jeez. And then now he's saying, well, you can have the option to remove the bitch. Smith, stop, stop, don't get, don't get fucking smart with me, you fucking idiot. I offered him 110, dude. It's crazy how, like, I don't know, man. It's, it's crazy. Dude, I offered the guy 110. Sorry, guys. I had to go off on this freaking idiot freaking lowballing me on eBay, dude. I freaking hate lowballers, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm selling him an Air Jordan 1 low. Atmosphere gray. I offered him $110. The retail price is 140 And then he's saying, like, well, if you don't, if you're not going to take my $90 offer, why would you even put bid option up there? You could take the you could take the bid option off. Man, stop getting freaking smart with me. I'm going to freaking smack the sh ish out of you, boy. Freaking idiot, dude. Seriously, my life is idiots, bro. I offered the dude 110, bro. It's like, bro. And then he's like, "Can you like 90? 90?" 90? 90 bucks bro what the fuck i'm already losing so much money off of that like dude 110 dude this guy is tripping bro this dude is tripping dog and he's never this guy has never bought anything from me he's just some random dude on ebay it's like dude if you had maybe bought something from me before maybe i'll think about like a hundred 90 no way but like and like this is the first time buying from me yeah, first time buying from me, ninety dollars. Nah, uh, you're good. You're good. I'll hold it. I will. I will hold those until I get the price I want. But um, yeah, freaking eBay lowballers, dude. Really, man. This guy's crazy. This guy is crazy. All right, sorry guys. Sorry you guys had to see that part of me. It was you just that was annoying. The Museum of Oddities. Oh, we I have not seen the Museum of Oddities either. More items to dis Let's check out the Museum of Oddities, guys. So, there we go. Uh we just did the Bernice quest. We just did the Hearus quest. Uh did we do any other quests? We were going to do the Brythar quest, but that involves us having to kill him, which I don't want to do. So we're going to take the other route, which is to find those flawless pearls for him. But that's going to take a little bit of time. So now, let's just go to the next thing on the list. Ajazda believes the world is ending soon, so she's gathering supplies. She would like me to find three items she's still missing. The Amulet of Disintegration, the Ring of Desiccation... And the calming pants, which I don't even know what the heck is this. But we have some markers. You alright, Bernice? <coughs> alright. So let's just go ahead and do the next quest, guys. Let me see what time we're at, actually. We're at about an hour and 32. Uh-oh. We need to hurry things up. So let's go. Let's go. We gotta follow these red markers. She needs, like, a bunch of items. Uh, and it looks like we have to go to Bliss in order to find the thing. Oh, and it looks like we have to go into the Museum of Oddities. So I guess we'll go into the Museum of Oddities now. Since it, the quest is telling us to go inside here. And let's check it out. We haven't checked this place out. We didn't, we didn't check it out in the last video. So here we go. We're finally looking it up. I hope you're enjoying the museum. Um, I is just got here. Is this your first time to the museum? It Perhaps is. Perhaps you would care for a tour. I am the curator of the Museum of Oddities, Una Amina. Have we met? You look familiar. Anyway, I'm always looking for new exhibits, so remember me when you come across anything odd. Okay. Uh, oddities. I'm always looking for new oddities to add to my collection. Anything unusual, bizarre, strange, or disturbing, bring it to me. I do pay a nominal finder's fee, but of course, the real reward is your contribution to posterity. Do you have anything that you'd like to contribute to the museum? Do I? Offer blind watcher's eye? What's what's that? Well, just keep looking and I'm sure... Blind watcher's eye? What's that? Well, I have something in my uh, inventory that I can give to her? Blind watcher's eye? I guess See? we'll just give it to her, Welcome right? To the... Have you found... Offer a blind watcher's eye, I guess. Oh, how deliciously odd. Delicious. I've never seen a blind watcher's eye before. 
It will have a place of honor in the museum. Okay. So I guess you just keep giving her these like oddities, these strange things, and it ends up filling up the museum. You can like, you know, look around and look at all your um, findings throughout the Shivering Isles and, you know, see it in a, you know, behind a glass glass case. So that's pretty cool. Rumors? That newcomer. I know I heard his name the other day, but I can't seem to remember. Let's talk about, she's talking about me, right? Would you like Let's to take a museum, museum tour, guys. I'm down. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to tour. Wonderful. Follow me and I'll show you around my little collection of oddities. Dude, I'm down. I am down. Alright, here we go. Let's take off our, um, Kajiti stuff. Just to make it, you know... Just to make it a little more immersive. Look closely and you'll see a tiny skull. These oh, I do. Used to live in the Shivering Isles pygmies? Until they were all eaten by Grumites. Oh. Here's a real oddity for you. An arm of one of the gatekeepers. Oh. This one was killed by... Oh, I forget now. A lovely specimen in any case. So we got a gatekeeper's arm, pygmy skull... Oh, we got our blind watcher's eye. She put it up already. Beauty. The ring of desiccation. Walk on water and breathe underwater at the same We found time. we found one part of the we we found one part of the um quest that Ajasta wants. The ring of desiccation. It's right there in that glass case. And Ajasta needs this because she needs to Use it for protection against the end of the world. I don't know. Odd, if you think about it for a minute. So you can walk on water with that. Okay, ring of desiccation. Here you see the blind watcher's eye. That's what I brought. Oh, she gives us you a little. She gives you a little lore on it. Great peril by some intrepid adventurer. It's me. You know. I always walk over here thinking there's another exhibit, but there never is. <laughs> oh. oh, silly me. This case is waiting for something especially odd. If okay, nothing in there yet. Odd, be sure to bring it by, and it might end up on display here. I got you, girl. Mm. I could have sworn that I used to keep something very odd on this shelf. Oh, well. Is this That's chick like long. losing her mind or something? Yes, I've been meaning to put something here, but it seems I haven't gotten around to it. Man, this museum Una. sucks. Freaking Una. She's got two things. She's got the freaking gatekeeper arm well, and a pygmy skull. Be empty. Strange. And that ring. I'm sure that yesterday my memory oh. just isn't what she's saying right here. My memory just isn't what it used to be. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, let's see what else we can find, Una. You're 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 freaking me out a little bit. Were you in here last week? Wasn't there an exhibit in this case then? <laughs> oh well, I must just be going senile. <laughs> uh oh. You hear that? That's the crazy laugh. That's the crazy laugh. Let's keep following. As you can see, I have plenty of space here for new oddities, so think of me when you run across anything odd. I think something's missing from this shelf. Or it could be just my old brain playing tricks on me again. She's still giving <laughs> oh, the tour? Well, let's continue the tour. Bro, hurry up with this tour, lady. We've just been going over the same stuff. There was something else here. Oh, well, no matter. Just losing my mind or something. Right this way. Okay, Una, come on. Where are we going? Oh my gosh, she's going to the same thing. This case here, I'm saving for something special. Wouldn't you like to be the one to... Let's, um, here, let's do this. Let's hit a thumbnail. To go on display here? Oh, yes, I've already shown you this shelf, haven't you? You did. I? My poor old brain just isn't what it used to be. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Oh, okay, here we go. Feel free to stay and browse for as long as you like. Wow, so uh, Una is definitely she's. 
um, experiencing, you know, symptoms of dementia, I'm assuming, you know? I mean, no pun intended, because we are in the realm of dementia. Let me put on my Khajiit stuff, because we're gonna need to steal. We're gonna need to steal. So yeah, Una, we can actually sleep on her bed, it's not owned, that's really weird. It's really weird. So we have like a little balcony here. Really cool. So yeah, Una is definitely gone a little crazy. Or she just like has very poor memory. Alright, so let's steal the ring of uh, dissection. Uh, so the ring of desiccation, I mean. I found the ring of desiccation. There we go. Let's close it up. And she has no idea. She has no idea. Look, watch. We'll talk to her. She has Reason. no idea. Welcome to the Museum of Oddities. Let me know if you'd like a tour of our exhibits. Oh, I get it. I get it now. I get it now. So, you can actually steal See stuff it. from her, and then I think her dialogue might be a little bit different if you do the tour. She'll be like, oh, I thought something was here, or whatever, you know? But we did find the Ring of Desiccation. What else does Ajazda need? She needs... Amulet of Disintegration and Calming Pants, which are in bliss, it seems, right? Looks like it's in bliss. So, we're gonna have to put that quest on hold. Welcome. Oddities? Would oh, no, 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 not right now. Oddities? We could offer her back the ring? That's crazy. No, give me this. Alright, so that was the, um... The Museum of Oddities. There wasn't really a lot. So I'm assuming that people just come in here and steal Una's um, oddities. Because she's, you know, like, doesn't have the greatest memory and... I'm so full. Yeah. Um, you know, people are just take use that to, uh, to their advantage. Because we heard her say, she was like, I clearly remember... She was saying, she was like, I remember something being here, like... I remember there was an oddity here, but it's not here anymore, so we can kind of assume that people are, like, kind of stealing from her, or... Either that, or she's just misplacing everything, but, um, yeah, that's pretty, um... That's pretty sad, it's pretty sad. Um, but let's, uh, let's figure out what we can do next. So, yeah, no other quest for Ajasta here. We only needed the Ring of... We only need, uh... The Ring of Desiccation was the only thing that was here from the quest, um, requirements. So, I guess the other two are in bliss. So, I guess we're gonna start with another quest. So, let's go active quest, current quest. The Antipodian Hammer. Cutter told me about magical weapon and armor matrices she can use to create magical weapons and armor. If I find a matrix, she'll be able to make a magical item. Oh my god, the matrix. Well, we have that in our house, right? I threw that in my house, right? I think so. Let me, let me stop by Cutter again. I don't know... Hold on, let me, let me actually, uh, if we press map on the quest, it might show us, like, where we need to go to find that matrix, maybe? We have a stolen matrix. I don't think she'll take a stolen one, though. I don't think she'll take a stolen one. Yeah, there's no, like, marker. It's just, like, something you have to find. So, where's Cutter? She's right, Cutter's right here, right? You remain. Forge weapon. Oh, we could do more things. Forge armor. So we did the um, we did the helmet. Let's do the cuirass, right? Sure, you've got your rib cage. Put a, but sharp, a sharp. Put a sharp. Blade can pry ribs. Oh, I mean, settle down, cutter. All right. Oh, there we go. We made it. So we got the perfect madness cuirass. Nice. How many more madness ores do we have? How many more madness ores? Did we use them all? We might have used them all. We might have literally used all of them. I think we did. But um, we got this cool little uh, madness. Um, ooh, 19 armor versus 12. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to swap that out. We're gonna have to swap these out. Just give me a sec though, guys. We're gonna we're gonna um, have the full set. Soon? And then Coming we'll swap it out. Alright, that's cool. So I don't think Cutter gives a quest. I mean, she does give a quest, but we need to find something. And it's the it's not marked on our map, so... Um...
Yeah, we need to find matrices. Matrices? Isn't that a math terminology? I don't know. <sighs> Alright. Antipodian, Brythar. So Brythar, we're gonna try to find the pearls for him. Museum of Oddities. Wait. And this is just like other oddities you could bring to her. This is for Ajazda. So right now we only have one more quest, guys. That is a better mousetrap. That is the quest that Shio Gorath has given to us. The very first quest. So finally, guys, we completed most of the quests that we were able to complete in this video in Crucible. So if you guys enjoyed that, hit the like, hit the sub, run it up, leave a comment. I see you guys commenting, liking all that stuff. I appreciate all of that. Thank you guys a bunch. But now let's end this video by doing, sorry, let's end this video by doing a better mousetrap, aka the first quest to Sheogorath, for Sheogorath. So, um, yeah, let's do it. Let's go to Zedillion, guys. I read this in the beginning, but we'll read it again. Um, yeah, I'll leave it here, so if you guys want to read it. But yeah, says, I've learned that in order to restore Zedillion, I gotta activate the Resonator Judgment. I'll need to find three Focus Crystals, place them in the Judgment Nexus. Which will prepare the resonator for a two minute. I should blah 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 blah. You guys, you guys know what the vibes are. What, what time is it? I gotta make sure I I get to the mall before it closes. But okay, guys, so let's do that. Oh god, I, I feel I gotta poo too. I gotta poo too. So let's do this quick. So here we go, Zedillion. We can actually just stop by Naughty Bramble and then take a little walkie poo. Take a little walkie poo all the way to Zedillion. So let's do that, guys. Oh, and there's a little town here. Whoa, cool. So another town, maybe it's similar to like Passwall, maybe. So let's go here in the road. We also have to be looking for flawless pearls in chests. Uh, look at this like Italy looking thing. Italy looking little piece of land. All right, so uh, what's our level at? Oh, we are like not even close. So you know what, let's just switch back to Umbra. Let's just switch back to Ye old Faithful. All right, feels weird not being able to ride a horse around, or like there's no transportation here. But um, it's cool. Ooh, look at that! They got a little cave up there. That looks pretty sweet. It's gonna be fun to explore later. All right, so let's go to Sedillion. Let's complete uh, Shiogorath's first task, and hopefully he can, you know, give us a little bit more information about what we have to do next to stop Gray March. Because that's the whole purpose of this DLC, right? It's to stop Grey March from happening and helping Shio Gorath stop uh, stop that. So here we are, guys. I, I think could be different. Here we are. We're at Zedillion. Looks like there's just a bunch of Grummites here. No new enemy type, but we got Grummites guarding Zedillion. And let's just go deal with this guy. We should be able to deal with him pretty easily because we use our because we have our um. Umbra now, and yeah, we, we kind of owned them pretty pretty fast. Ooh, Madness Ores, nice. Also looking for Matrixes, or Matrices, or whatever she called them. Ooh, and look at the entrance to this place. Let me take a thumbnail, hold on. This might be the thumbnail vibe. This might be the thumbnail vibe. So yeah, longer video, guys. I know I've been making, I know I've been doing like a little bit shorter videos. Sorry about that. This one's gonna be long for the guys and girls who like the long vids. All right, let's go. So we got a thumbnail. Let's do it. So we're entering Zedillion. Um, first time ever seeing a. Oh, let me see. Let me read this. I've entered Zedillion. I should now begin locating the focus crystal that link the. That link the resonator of judgment with the rest of the dungeon. Okay, yeah, first time entering a um, a fort here in Shivering Isle. So we're in a fort. So it looks like we have a Grummite fort. We have like Grummite totem poles right here. Probably some sort of like Grummite underground architecture vibes. We got a Grummite right there. And yeah, we gotta find these focus crystals. We gotta find three of the focus crystals and then power up Zedillion. Using the rod of whatever, a tuninator or a freaking whatever. Dang, our Umbra is straight owning these guys. Oh nice, we got a nice stagger off. 
Nice. Okay. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Let's take these withering moons. Alright, I think we're good. Let's keep it moving. Oh, we got a chest here. Ooh! Yeah, everything is so easy with the skeleton key. Super nice. We found a pearl, but not a flawless pearl. We need a flawless pearl. We need five flawless pearls for, um, Brythar. It's either that or he dies, you know? And I'd rather him not die, just let him live. Oh, look at that, and the face changes. That's pretty cool. But yeah, just, you know, we're trying to be peaceful here. We're trying to be peaceful, alright? These guys in Dementia are going through a lot. We just, we just had, we just, you know, um, experienced that extremely sad story of Heerus. It was really, that, here, that story was actually really depressing. Um, it kind of effed me up a little bit, not gonna lie. So yeah, RIP to Heerus. Um, I, I should have just not killed him. I should have just let him live. And just not done anything, but, I mean, holy. I mean, it is what it is, though, I guess. I mean, oh, Madness War Axe Matrix. Oh, this is, this is what we need to make the, um, the items from Cutter. Oh God, he's invisible. Where are you? Shaman Death Dealer? Whoa. Where is this guy? Okay, I was like, the heck is this dude? Oh, he's, he's not invisible anymore. There we go. He should be dead soon. There we go. Oh, this looks cool. Crystal stuff. It weighs zero pounds? What? Oh, this is the focus crystal. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. I discovered the first of the three focus crystals. It was affixed, affixed to the top of a Gromite Shaman's crystal staff. I think they are using the crystals as a power source for their weapons. Now that I've removed it from the staff, I should place the focus crystal in its judgment nexus to continue. Okay, how do I do that, though? How do I do that, though? Oh, here we go. I placed the focus first focus crystal into its nexus. I can now continue searching for focus crystals. Okay, look at that. Wow, really cool. So this is going to power up Zedillion. Um, and uh, somehow going to help out Shio Gorath somehow. So, um... I don't know. Let's just keep doing what the Mad Princess wants. Pri Mad Princess wants us. Mad Prince wants us to do, and just hopefully it turns out. Everything turns out good. Hopefully, hopefully we don't cause like the end of the world or whatever, or nothing too crazy. Oh jeez. Okay, so we got some Grumites straight worshiping right now. Oh, what the heck? Did they see me? So we got three Grumites. They're ready to get down. They're ready to get down, and, um, you know what? I'm ready to get down as well. Ah! Ooh, yo, we one-shot the bro. Yo, we own. Oh, these guys are kind of weak. Magus Torturer. Okay, this is a new guy. It's time to die, Magus Torturer. Dang, look at him go. There we go. We got him. Flamestalk? Ooh, these are new. Give me that. Is this a new mace? Hold on, can you move out the way? Can't pick it up. Oh, there we go. Cudgel. So we got a Grumite Cudgel. There was three of these guys. Where's that? Oh, here he's over here. <laughs> gotta make sure we, you know, loot everything. Because we found that matrix off of the dead body of the Grumite, so... Definitely important to loot. Definitely important to be a loot goblin here. Alright, let me check out the map. I don't think we've checked out the map ever. What the heck is this? We missed a thing? Whatever. Whatever. Let's click the button. Oh no! Oh crap, we fell for the trap. We fell for the trap. Crikey, we are in a bad situation. 
All right, well, we've made ourselves, um, we've gotten ourselves out of worse. We've gotten ourselves out of worse. We got a Grummite here. He's dying. He's dying. Try to swing on me, yeah. buddy. See what happens. That's right. That's right, buddy. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, we're over encumbered. Oh, he's a He's a little tricky bastard. Oh, we got another um we got another one right here. I see him. I see him. We got another focus crystal. Uh, do I have feather? I don't. Drat! The heck, where's my... Oh, wait, we did it wrong. Where's E's burden? Here we go. Alright, mother effer. You wanna start shooting spells at me? I can shoot spells back, alright? Your boy is a freaking well-trained wizard. There we go. See ya! Dang, that guy flew. He flew! I've discovered the second focus crystal. I should place it in its judgment nexus to continue. I've placed the second focus crystal into its nexus. I can now continue searching for the final focus crystal. So we got the final focus crystal, guys. Uh-oh. And we got, uh, we got some, uh, some enemies, guys. We got a death dealer, a pretty strong one. Oh, nice! Charizard got a beautiful stun off. You can just go ahead and start swinging on the dude. Dang, yo, he got stunned for a while. Oh my god, yo, Charizard's owning. Dang, this guy's tanky, though. Oh my god, yeah, he took a lot of hits there. Wow, strong guy, huh? We got a little strong guy. Flawless Pearl! We found a Flawless Pearl! So we found one for Brythar. We found one so far. We need four more. We need four more for the boy. Oh, look at this. Dang, okay, we got a lot now. Try to, uh, let's try to isolate this guy. There we go. He still doesn't even see me, it's just crazy. Dang, he didn't even see me that whole time? Yo, Chameleon is strong. I wonder, we're not even at Chameleon 100% either. We're only at Chameleon um, 65. So what? imagine it at 100, that would be crazy. This is gonna be the stronger guy. Death dealers are pretty tough. Let's hopefully we can get a stun off on him. Oh. Oh, there we go, we got a stun off. Let's start shooting with fireballs. Nice. Nice. Lots of madness ores, which is great. Good for me. Alright, let me check out the map skis. And... Okay. We're looking good. We're looking good. What's this? Flawless topaz. What the heck? What's this doing up here? like random jewels just chilling. I missed this one too? What? It's so unlike me. It's so unlike me. Alright, we're good. Any other chests I should be worried about? Don't think so. Let's crouch it up. Make sure we're hidden. Oh, we just got a little door here. Looks like we're about to skedaddle out of here, guys. Zedillion Halls of Judgments. Just kidding. We got one more. I forgot. We got one more crystal. One more shaman that we gotta kill. Okay, we got this guy. Let's just go ahead and do that. Summon Charizard and let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Oh, we're stuck a little bit. It's cool. Let's start shooting a fireball at this guy. Should be dying fairly soon. Should be dying fairly soon. 
Let's start swinging. There we go. He's dead. First one's down. Let's go for the second de death dealer. Nice. We got ourselves a sweet little stun off on the guy. Let me go ahead and charge up my Umbra real quick. Just giving you guys a little play-by-play -play breakdown of what's going on in my brain while we're conducting battle. You feel me? Maybe. Maybe not. Alright. This guy hit me. There we go. Uh. Hit me again. Uh. Yeah. He's gonna uh. die in like two more hits. Two more power uh. swings. Uh. There's one. Here's a uh. second one. Nope, he's not dead. Bad prediction. Oh, now he's dead though. Ah, oh, here we go. Madness Shield Matrix. Yo! So we found an axe and a shield matrix. Dude. We're fi let's, let's bring these to Cutter by the end of this video too. I wanna see what she like will give me for them. That is awesome. Oh, we can't we can't uh, miss any chests. The chests are very important when we're doing dungeon stuff because we need to find those uh, flawless pearls. We might have some flawless pearls back at the crib. No lie. So we might be able to just like finish this quest a lot faster. But we'll check that in the next video. We'll do that in the next video. Next video will be um, I said it was gonna be the bliss, but maybe we'll do just um. Yeah, I guess we'll do Bliss, right? Yeah, next video has to be Bliss. There's nothing else. We did all the quests here. Most of them. The ones that we were able to do, you know? Oh, I still gotta go to the finish line and return these royals. Durable Silver Mace. Pass. Dang, no Flawless Pearl. Just a regular Pearl. Alright, we made it to the last um, thing here. And we should be seeing a... Here we go, right here. Shaman Death Dealer. Let's just start swinging. Uh, let me summon. And then we're going. And we're going. We're just gonna go buck... Oh, we're over encumbered. Dude, come on, guy. This guy is seriously does the worst stuff. Let me... Let me... I need to move again. Oh, we still can't move. Yo, he over encumbered us like crazy. Oh no, uh, Charizard's hitting us now because I actually hit him. Whoopsies. So yeah, we're super over encumbered now. He like got us real bad with that. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, we kind of owned there. I've discovered the third and final focus crystal. I should place in the Judgment Nexus to continue. Alright, let's do that. I placed the third and final focus crystal into its judgment nexus. The path to the resonator of judgment itself is now clear. My next task should be to attune the resonator by using the attenuator of judgment that Shield Guard provided me. Hold on, wait, what? The path to the resonator of judgment itself is now clear. My next task should be to attune the resonator by using the attenuator of judgment. Okay, all right, we got it. I'm gonna wait for this burden to get off me. There we go. Um, let's loot these guys. We might find some matrixes off these guys. Nope, no matrixes. Alright, so we should be finding the... Um, wait, what is it called again? Uh, I'm freaking confused. The resonator. The resonator of judgment. Should be uh, up here. Very sh like We should be finding it. Oh, we got some more enemies though. We got some more enemies. Alright, let's get let's get busy, Char. Let's get busy. And me and you, baby. Let's just focus the, the, um, the bigger one. The stronger one first. Yeah. Oh. Let's just start swinging on the bro. Should be he should be dying soon. There we go. Uh, let me use my Azura Star. We gotta grunt my beater while Charizard's dealing with that guy. We'll go ahead and deal with this dude. Dealt with him pretty fast. Let's go ahead and help Charizard out. We got another Pain Bringer here. Oh, I'll show you pain, baby. Let me just start shooting this guy with boner and arrows real quick. There we go. Yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that, huh? Little weapon switch up on ya. There we go. Good stuff there. Good stuff! Ooh, Matrix helmet! We got a helmet, so we got a helmet, shield, and an axe, dude. Yo, we're about to get super, like, freaking geared up, yo. I'm actually pretty hyped. Actually pretty hyped. 
Okay, oh my god, oh jeez. Oh god, yo, there's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff happening here. Um, Death Dealer. We want to kill Death Dealer first. Alright, we gotta play serious here. So let's go here, do that. We'll summon. And then we just start swinging. We just gotta start swinging on the Death Dealer. He's our strongest... The strongest enemy, I feel like, so far. Dang, he's swinging. We just gotta deal with one of them fast. We gotta deal with one of them fast. We switch over to Fireball, start fireballing him. Uh-oh, Charizard's out. Charizard's out. Let's make sure we gotta... Uh-oh. I wanted to make sure one of them died before Charizard... Okay, one of them's dead. One of them's dead. Let's just work hiding, work hiding. And then we have enough mana to summon Charizard. We summon Charizard. Let's kill yeah. Death Dealer number two. Let's kill Death Dealer number two. Oh, we missed that. There we go, big stun. Let's go ahead and shoot with the fireball. Um, this thing. This thing. There we go. And yeah, we're just having a straight up cat fight with this guy. Throwing freaking all sorts of paws at this dude. There we go. He's out of here. We find a bow matrix. Okay. Alright, now we got the last death dealer. Uh oh, okay. He hurts, he hurts, I know. Good thing we came here pretty leveled up, guys. Make sure if you guys are doing the Shivering Isles, I think it said to say make sure you're like at least level 30 or something. So make sure you're a good level before you enter here. Because the enemies uh, are pretty tough. The DPS on these Grumites uh, are pretty high. Like, they attack extremely fast. Yeah. So if you don't have, like, armor, if you don't have, like, good stuff, they might just shred right through you. Okay, so that was the last line of defense, it seemed like. Any flawless pearls in the building? Any flawless pearls wanna maybe reveal themselves to your boy? Potentially? I right, don't think so. Here's the attuner, or no, resonator, sorry. Resonator of judgment right there. I'm about to freaking turn my toilet into the resonator of judgment after this thing. Hound's tooth key? What's that? I found an unusual key made out of a hound's tooth. This might be something Una Armina would want for the Museum of Oddities. Okay. Um, but should I give it to her? She's, the, she's gonna get my stuff stolen, though. She's gonna get my shit stolen, bruh. Alright, let's put it. Let's, uh, let's attune it. Let's attune it. Huh? The Resonator of Judgment has been attuned. I should now make my way back to New Sheoth and report my success to Sheogorath. Oh, jeez! That scared... That startled me. I'm so startled. You guys like that? You guys like that? Am I, am I, was that convincing? I hope so. I hope so. Um, what's weighing us down, though? Like, it's probably all of this, right? It's probably all of this. All of these weapons, arrows. Oh, man. Oh, man, I gotta go to the mall and return this shoe ASAP. Uh, where's my ease burden? Hello? There we go. Alright, so there we go. Our first quest for Shio Gorath has been completed. We did his bidding, and hopefully he can stop Grey March or whatever that thing is. Hopefully he wasn't lying to me. Oh, look at this. Teleportation pad, what? Who the heck? Lord Shio Gorath has sent someone to assist me. Who are you? But where are my manners? <clears throat> Must get into my professional tone. <clears throat> Welcome to Zedillion. I'm the dungeon caretaker, Kiliban Nerendil. Tell me more about this place. A wonder of engineering, is it not? Zedillion is the ultimate test of metal for the foolhardy adventurer that dares trespass into the Shivering Isles. What they don't know is that they're being drawn to their doom, courtesy of the Resonator of Judgment. Enough! How do I get out of here? Interesting. Tell me more. Here, let's hear more. Let's hear more. Ever since that wretched gatekeeper was made, Zedillion became redundant. Huh? What do you it mean? It fell into disrepair and was eventually all but forgotten. 
After only a few years passed, the Grumites began moving mm, in. Okay. Ghastly things. They mistook the focus crystals for some sort of religious symbols and removed them from their rightful places. Oh, okay. This rendered oh, sorry, the resonator inert and Zedillion completely useless. Oh, Luckily, okay. He came along and placed Zedillion ah, back Ah, okay, that operation. makes sense. Alright, so the, the Grumites came in and then they, you know, like we saw, they used those power crystals and they, like, they saw it as some sort of, like, religious kind of, like, you know, artifact. They ended up worshipping it and that threw Zedillion out of power because it, they took the power sources, so... That's pretty much it. So, uh, how do I get out of here? Yes, yes. I, I tend to ramble. You'll have to forgive me. If you have the attenuator, then Shea must have sent you. Zedillion would normally have sent you back to the entrance when you stepped on the pad in the resonator chamber. Since you're up here, I can only surmise that adventurers are already entering the dungeon as we speak. Uh, what, what do you mean? Adventurers are entering the dungeon as we speak? What do you mean? What should I do? Why do I have to deal with it? What should I do? The only thing we can do is let the adventurers complete a cycle through here. I'll be glad to help. What, what do you mean? I assume Shea Gorath gave you the Manual of Zedillion. You can consult it for more information. Manual of Zedillion? I can provide instructions. Uh, wait, what? What's happening? What's happening? Baiting the trap? Wait, what? Chamber? I will be happy to describe each chamber and explain the event that unfolds as we proceed through Zedillion. Okay. This first chamber is the Chamber of the Gnarl. At the touch of a button, you can cause a large group of tiny gnarls to appear and attack the adventurers. What? Or, if you're feeling merciful, we can have the group terrorized by a seemingly lowly now that instantly grows to twice Wait. their size. The hallucinogenic spore gas we release into the chamber will help lull the victims into believing the creature means to kill them. Oh my god. You know what this reminds Don't me of, guys? Its bark is far worse than its bite. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me, if you guys have played old school Counter-Strike 1.6, Counter-Strike 1.6, um, maybe source, but you guys remember death runs death runs this reminds me of death runs where like if you guys aren't familiar with the game like CTs are like behind a like Wall where they have a bunch of buttons and then the terrorists are in like this obstacle course called the death run right? Because you go through it and then the CTs press buttons the counter terrorists press buttons in order to activate the traps for each zone of the death run which will uh, uh, you know, it, it, it'll either, you know, kill the um, terrorist or they'll end up making it past it or whatever, you know? So, this kind of reminds me of Death Run. If you guys know, you know. Death Run from Counter-Strike, Any, if anyone knows. This is very, this reminds me of it a lot. Uh, Resonator of Judgment. The Resonator works by drawing adventurers to itself with a sort of magical siren's call. This, this quest just took an interesting Shea turn. Shea uses the Resonator to find the cream of the crop, as he calls them. The best of the worst to populate the Isles. Quite clever, eh? Instructions. As the adventurers make their way through Zedillion's chambers, they will encounter choices that you make in these control platforms. Nice, yeah, like Death Run. All you need to do is decide what becomes of the adventurers. Will you drive them insane? Or will you pull the life from their bodies? Dang, uh, how do I make the choices? How do I know when I'm done? Do you handle the cleanup? Explain the choices I'm making. Let's just start from the beginning. How do I make the choices? Simple. Wait until the adventurers are in position. Oh, and you press the button. And then okay. press a button. If they survived, they will proceed to the next chamber, and so on. Okay. It's really quite ingenious. How do I know when I'm done? You'll know you're done when they lie dead on the ground. Or they are out of their minds. Oh, okay, that's the only two options. Of course, any of their possessions you wish to keep are yours for the taking. I'll make sure you get them when you're done. Do you handle the cleanup? Well, the dead will be disposed of. Have no fear. That's my job. Okay. Those that are lucky enough to merely go insane will be granted a place in the Shivering Isles as ah, a permanent Ah, so this is some prison. sort of like a, this is a sort of test. Oh yeah, that's what he said. It's for, you know... Shea Gorath to get the best of the worst, that's what Killaban said. 
Explain the choices I'm making. Each chamber presents two options. When you push the appropriate button, an event will unfold for the adventurers to experience. One is physically harmful, usually lethal traps or creatures. Something relished by the residents of Dementia. Yo, this is gonna be so the fun, other guys. The choice is more mental. They are designed to make the adventurers lose, lose their, their grip, grip on, on reality. reality. Much like the residents of Mania. Mm. Of course, the introduction of spore gas with the Mania choices helps as well. Uh, that's enough information. As you wish. Okay, yo, this is gonna be fun, guys. We're gonna have a little Death Run vibe. Okay, we're good. So good to be back in business. All right, thanks, Killaban. Thanks for letting me know. Um, I'm kind of sad that we have to kill these guys, but I guess it is what it is. What is that? Oh, here we have it. We have it. Hold on, hold on. Let me save. Let me save. Let me save just in case. Oh, let me get the uh, let me get let me get the thumbnail. Can they see me? They can. So here we go. We have the just kill this stupid on. And move on. So here we have our first test. Kill a ban. What can I What should I do? Okay, so nothing. Alright. Um, let's just figure it out. Let's try the red uh, oh here we go. Giant gnarl. Or a gnarl swarm. Oh, uh, let's go with the giant gnarl. F it. Let's watch. Let's watch, guys. Uh oh, we got the gas, the spore gas. Be careful. There may be more to this creature than meets the eye. What a joke. Let's be rid of. Let me let me uh, get rid of that. We're gonna definitely might get the thumbnail. Oh, it's growing bigger. You guys see it? Giant gnarl. By the gods. When will it stop? By the gods. Oh. Get back here, you cards. Can we help them out? Something's not right. We can't. All this time it was merely Oh, an illusion. An illusion. Okay. Clever. Wait, what's wrong with Lewin? They make no sense. Should be dead. But what the oh. I think this place got to him. Perhaps we should leave. No, we'll pick him up on the way out. He must fend for himself. I've unleashed the giant gnarl on the adventurers of Zedillion. With the threat of what he perceived as certain death knocking at his door, Lewin the rogue has gone insane. I should make my way to the next observation room and choose how the adventurers will encounter their next obstacle. This is really fun. <clears throat> this is really fun. So Lewin, he's not making it past. He's He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone mad. All right, we're deactivated. Okay, let's go to the next chamber. <laughs> Watching them run from the giant knob gets me every <laughs> Yeah, that, that was actually pretty funny. That was actually pretty funny. What can I All right, let's go. This one's the next room, obviously, because it opened up. So let's go. <clears throat> okay, and then yeah, kill Ben's over here. Let's go to the next room. Here we go. So here we go. We got the adventurers. Just two now. Let me uh remove the HUD. Let's have at it, Sindelius. So I get some thumbnails here. Okay. So here we have two options. Drop the keys. Fire trap. Um, let's not like kill them. Let's let's just like let's give them the keys. What happens when we give them the keys? Maybe they'll end up like betraying each other or something for the like group because of greed. Let's just drop the keys. So let me see what happens. Be careful. This looks too good to be true. If only Lewin were here, he could get us through this and Okay, well I got I gave you guys the keys. We have to fend for ourselves. Do you think you can pry the door open? Forget it. This is obviously a trick. Let's get out of here. To be so close, and yet so far. If only we had the key. Wait, do you hear something? You hear that, guys? Oh. Oh my god, it's a bunch of big keys. Look, keys. 
One of them must open the gate. We're rich. Let's get out of here, Sindelius. This is obviously a trick to waste our time. I'll know it when I see it. Yes, it must be here. Hold on, we're over encumbered? What? The heck? Hold on. I forgot to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> this thing's what's weighing us down. This, m this madness BS. Let me repair all this. Maybe we'll lose some lose some weight. So we dropped the keys, but it wasn't just one, it was a whole bunch of keys, and then we have um that guy, whatever his name was, just like, you know, he's trying to look for it, but I don't think he's gonna find it. All fake. Just come with me now. Find it, yes. I'm oh he's gone cra he's gone crazy. All my dreams. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we have the only, you know, um, the only strong-willed person here. It was the orc. So Sindelius, so Levin the rogue, he, um, he got terrified and he like he just like pussed out. He's scared. He's in the first room. He didn't he didn't go to the second room. Sindelius and the orc went to the second room, and the the um the idea of finding the key to this treasure in a giant pit filled with freaking millions of keys is just like you know made him like. I don't know, like, just like, real, like, really fixated on trying to find this key. So he's not moving. And now we have the, the orc. So hold on. I've caused Sindelius to make you go insane by pouring hundreds of keys on the ground, which convinced him that one of them opened the gate to the huge treasure pile. All that remains now is the leader of the group, Gromok. So Gromok. I should make my way to the last observation room and choose how the stubborn orc will encounter his final obstacle. Okay. Fire trap. We could have had a fire trap. We could have had a fire trap that probably ended up killing Sindelion or whatever his name was. Uh, but let's not do that, you know. Let's just have him survive. Alright, so here we are in the final death run room right here, guys. Too bad none of those keys fit the lock. Oh, and none of those keys fit the lock. Oh, shoot. That is horrible. Alright, so we're in the final room, guys. Oh, God. Possibly throw at you. Oh, thumbnail time. Hold on. If I find out who's running the show, they'll be. Wait, what? 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 Hell to pay. Uh oh, if he, if he said if he finds out who's running the show, that's gonna be hell to pay. Ghost Only illusion. Left. Fine. I'll show him. So we have raise the dead or ghost illusion. Only um, me left. Fine. Let's them. try, since we've done the right one the most times, let's do the left one. We haven't this done the left one, so let's do right. Ray's dead. <laughs> the very dead oh, one. shoot. Now it's my uh, uh, oh! I've caused the death of the remaining orc adventurer, Gromok, by animating the zombies in the final room of Zadillion. Now that all the adventures have been dealt with, I should speak to Killaban. Oh, oh man, maybe we should have just not killed them. Hold on, is there a way to... Um, does it matter? Here, let me let me see, let me see. Let me find out, let me see if we could save Gromok, or if we can, if he has to die, or if he's just like, destined to die. Um, okay guys, so... We can save Gromok's life by choosing the ghost. I think I want to do that. I think I want to do that. I think I want to do that. I don't want him to be dead. Yeah, let, let's restart. I'm gonna restart from the beginning, but it's gonna be edited to the Gromlock part. Okay, guys? Sorry, guys. Alright, guys, we're here back at the um, Gromlock, but we did the uh, Ghost Illusion. Wait, what? He died? This, this is impossible. Nothing killed me. I didn't even get a chance to fight. No chance to defend myself? 
No chance for battle? Why? I guess not. Cool. Impossible. This is impossible. Grimok has never lost a fight. Never. Well, today you did, mother effer. Get used to it. Oh, he's back. Ah, okay. So, here we go. By making Grimok think he, that he actually died and became a ghost, I've driven him insane. Now that all the adventurers have been dealt with, I should speak to Killaban. Okay, so we have a, um, a, uh, you know, an outcome where all the adventurers live, which no, I wanted. This is all so, wrong. This, this is what I wanted. Here you go, guys. Alright, thanks. Let's talk to Killaban. You've made short work of the intruders. Mm. Shea Gorath should be proud to have such an efficient apprentice. I got you, fam. Now, if you'll step on the last <clears throat> teleporter pad, I will meet you in the reception chamber so we can recover your earnings. Okay, I like the sound of that. I'm afraid you've exhausted Zedillion's resources. Oh. This was the final chamber. Okay. Not to worry. We'll have your spoils to you in no time at all. Alright, thanks, buddy. Oh, look at this. Let's see, Yoink all the- what is- is this, um, Killaban's, uh, room? This might be Killaban's room. Yeah, everything, we can't- we're gonna steal it. If we take it, so let's not mess with that. This is Killaban's room, interesting. Alright, I think that's Killaban's room. Alright, let's go through the portal, let's get our earnings. I have some things for you. Alright, what do you got? As is the tradition, you are to be awarded a focus crystal okay. as a token of your fine What does this do? Work. I'll have it sent to the palace and placed in the main hall if you wish to take a okay. look at it. You spoke of earnings? God, oh, I got to poo so bad, guys. I just, we just got to go. The most unusual weapon was recovered from the orc warrior, Gromok. Oh, a weapon. Never seen anything like it. But perhaps his journal can give you some useful information. Hope so. Beyond that, take whatever else you need from the recovery chest. You Oh, okay, we got a recovery chest. You're free to go at any time, of course. Just up that hallway. Good luck to you. All right. Nice. Okay, we completed Sheogorath's first quest. And we are over encumbered. Uh-oh, Duskfang. So we got Duskfang and then Gromok's, um... Journal added. So we got 27 damage. Versus our Umbra, which is... Oh, 33. Okay, well... I thought that was better, but this is cool. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, damn! Nourish blade on strike. I'm assuming that means that it just like um, every time you hit, that it increases your durability. I guess that look. This looks sweet. We're gonna stick with Umbra just because it's stronger, but appreciate it, my guy. Um, dude, we're so heavy. I don't know, like, I don't know what to get rid of. Um, oh, let's get rid of... Here, let's get rid of, like... Oh, no, no, no. Let's get rid of, like, three. We're gonna be heavier, though. But, oh my god, look at this. Water breathing to tech life feather. Okay. Flawed pearl. I need a flawless pearl. Alright, we're a little bit over encumbered. Alright, thank you, um... Kill a ban. It was that was much appreciated. Um, thanks for you know showing me the ropes. I'm about to leave now. I'm never coming back. Okay, you heard me. I'm never coming back. All right, there we go. Jeez, we're so heavy. Okay, so here we're in Zedillion. Who's this? Oh, it's the guys. Oh, it's the adventurers. They're all alive. What's happening? Knight of Order? Wait, who are these guys? Wait, what is happening? Who are these guys? Knight of Order? What the heck? Wait, who is this? Oh my god, are these the people that are sent to try to stop- Oh my god! I think these are the guys sent to- um, that are gonna start Grey March or whatever. Oh, and it looks like, um, Killaban's fighting these. Alright, let's kill these guys. So we found- so we got ambushed by these guys called the Knight of Order. Ooh. P 
pure sword of order. I'll take it. Uh oh, we're over encumbered though. Let's just keep blasting it with the fireball. How do I keep missing? Where is that blade of order or something like that? Pure sword, pure order sword. All right, let me kill. Him. I didn't know if these guys were like hostile or not. Um, but it looks like they are. Crap. What is Jiggle's favor? What is that? You guys see that? Very weird. Jig oh, Jigalog's favor. Who's Jigalog? Before exiting Zedillion, I was attacked by three unusual beings in equ equally strange armor. I should ask Kiliban if he knows anything about them. Kiliban, what's up? That was quite a battle. I hope you are I'm good. uninjured. So these are the guys after Shale Gorath, probably. What were those beings? You've not heard the legends? How could that I be? I have not. Those beings, as you call them, aren't beings at all. They are the soulless abominations known as the Knights of Order. Okay. Their attraction to the Resonator isn't surprising. It was built from one of the obelisks that dot the isles they seem to have an affinity for. You must proceed to Shea Gorath at once and tell him the knights have returned. Quickly now, go! Quickly now! You've certainly done your part protecting Zedillion. Quickly Should now! Should Shea Gorath ever decide to visit, I'll be sure to inform him of your proficiency. There isn't much more to say about these soulless creatures. No one knows why they invade or where they're from. They're not they from, the from the Isles, okay. Isles. So they're they alien. They haven't walked among us in many hundreds of years. Now that they've returned, there's no telling what may It's happen. the Grey March. My best advice is to destroy them on sight. They wouldn't hesitate to do the same to Okay, you. I was confused because they weren't going for me. They were going for the guys in the cage, but then afterwards they did. Now that Zedillion is up and running, I'll endeavor to keep it as clean and tidy as the day it was created. All right, you do that, Killaban. All right, I'll be seeing you now. Hasten back to the palace. Cheogora must know. Cheogora. All right, hopefully these guys are um, all right. Uh, how do I get out of here? Realm of Cheogora. Okay, looks like we just go through this way. Woo! Okay, that was the that was a hefty first quest. I thought it was just gonna end after we powered up the um the red judgment of whatever the resonator judgment of whatever judgment crystal thing, but no, we actually had like this cool little um like death run kind of like you know deciding the fate of like the adventurers kind of thing. That was really really fun. Uh, let's go back to Nusheo though. We gotta go back to New Shale. What time are we at? We're probably like two hours and something. Two hours and 40 minutes. Jesus, the Lord. Jesus, the Lord. All right, before we go to, um, before we go to, uh, talk to New Shale, I mean, not, not, before we go to, uh, Shale Gorath and let him know about the, um, the Knights of Order, let's go talk to Cutter first. Let's talk to Cutter first, and then give her these things that we have. We need to wait till it's morning time, though. Alright, Cutter, take these uh, matrixes and give me cool items, please, and thank you. Please, and thank Who is this? Greetings. Ushnar? Who's Ushnar? Yes. What the heck? When did you, this guy come from? You're a cat. I am a cat, that's true. You. Kill! Kill the cat! What? <laughs> Good dog. Okay, I was like, yo, he better not. Bernices, isn't I was like, you better not, Ushnar. See you later. You better not, dog. Dang, he don't like me. Yo, he's attacking me! <laughs> For the mad god. Yo, the guard! Guard! Help me, guard! Here, let's bring the dog here. What the heck, dude? I thought he was just joking. The guy actually sent his dog after me, bro. What's he doing? Is he about to attack the guard? 
I don't even know what's happening. Yeah, that 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 serves you right. Damn, yo, this yo, the freaking crackhead is boxing the dog, bro. Yo. Here, let's let the let's let, let's let a uh, cracky kill the dog. Damn. Wait, why does this dog have gold? Thank you, Caldana. You, you want some skooma? I got some skooma huh? for you. Give it to you. Give it to you. Yeah, thank you for helping. Thank you Take for protecting me. What does she give us now? She gives us a pickaxe. I don't need that. Skooma. 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 All right, yeah, thank you. Man, freaking Ushnar. He sent his dog to attack me. That freaking dog died. Freaking deserve that ish. Motherfucker, get that ish out of here, bro. All right, let's go to Cutter. Cutter's weapons. I should have a freaking blood stain here. Crazy. Um, magical items. Bring me the matrix. Yeah, that's what I have. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. Oh, here we go. Uh, magic helmet. Two pieces of the madness ore, right? And then a matrix. I mean, I guess. The best way for a blade to slip into a man. Okay, yeah. Uh, and then we get this, um, what do we get? Perfect madness helmet? Go see What's the difference between the one that we already have? What? Oh, it has a, it has an enchantment on it already. Oh, dude, I don't know if I want an enchantment on it already. Um, but okay, that's fine. All right, uh, we, we can't give any more of the matrixes. I don't want the shield. The scutcheon, I think, is best in slot. Let's go to Shio now. Let's go to Shio. Let's go talk to our boy Shio, Shio Gorath. Let him know that we completed his um, first quest and also let him know that the Knights of the Order have, you know, they started making their moves. They started making their moves. So let's go, let's go talk to Shio. And let's end the video too, because I, I gotta freaking go to freaking. I gotta go to the mall. Speak, citizen. Blessings, citizen. I gotta go to the mall and I gotta return these shoes before the mall closes. And it's already 4 p.m. I gotta go. I gotta go! Always a pleasure. Shio Gorath, I bring news. I see you free. I believe you have some news oh, okay. for oh, Lord Shio Gorath. Perhaps you should be speaking with him instead of illuminating me with your Alright, alright. I just wanted to say what's up, Haskell. Dang, guy. Nothing wrong with saying hey. Well, now, what news do you have to report? Um, I was attacked by knights. So soon? Not a surprise, I suppose. We'll get to that later. No need to burden your little brain. Okay, right thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't like burdening my little and brain. And Zedillion, since you're standing here, I assume you've succeeded. Or you're terribly confused. Or really lacking in good judgment. <laughs> Excuse me. Z Zedillion functions once more. Wonderful. Time for a celebration. Cheese. Cheese for everyone. So Shea Gorath likes cheese, Wait, eh? scratch that. Cheese for no one. Oh, just kidding. That can be just as much of a celebration if you don't like cheese, true? You've run a maze like a good little rat. But no cheese for you yet. Dang, bro, I want yeah, the cheese. I've granted you a new spell. Oh, really? The ability to summon Haskell, my chamberlain, to aid you in your travels. Wait, what? Oh, lot. that's sick. More than he knows. In fact, give it a try. Summon our friend to you now. I'll wait. So now we're given the summon Haskell spell. Sweet. Go ahead. Summon him. He loves it! Okay. Haskell, what do you gotta say about this? I am sure Lord Sheogorath will be thrilled to hear whatever pressing matter you have to discuss with him. Okay. I believe you have some news for Same thing. Alright, let's let's summon um Haskell. Here we go. Oh jeez. Ah. <sighs> oh my god, what, oh, this is hurting my eyes. You the power to summon me. How wonderful for me. When summoned, I can offer sorry, guys, sorry. a current endeavor. I imagine it's up to you what to do with my wisdom. Okay. Do try to use your power sparingly. I have duties to which I must attend. Rather more important than shepherding you around. Sorry, I'm this sure. is hurting you guys' eyes. My bad, guys. Okay, there we go. Man, this guy sucks. Yo, freaking... 
What the heck, bro? Oh my, all right, let's talk to Shayo. Isn't that a hoot? I love it myself. Best part of being a Daedric Prince, really. Go ahead. Try it try again. Try it again. He loves it. All right, I'll try it again. Ah, summoned again. My lord does so enjoy that, as is his prerogative. I'll assume you're Shayo done Shayo Gorath is a freaking menace, dude. He probably just messes with Haskell every single day. Good, good. You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to defeat Jigalag and stop the Grey March. So we have a name now, Jigalag. Oh, don't expect to summon dear Haskell anywhere but in the realm. Oh, okay, so we can't summon it outside the realm. leave in my presence. I get that sometimes. Jigalag, who is that? The Daedric Prince of Order. Or biscuits. No, no order. And not in a good way. Bleak. Colorless. Dead. Boring. Boring. Boring! And not a fan of my work, I can tell you. Hates it. Hates me. A bit single-minded. This is going to be a long video, guys. It's almost You've over, though. You've seen his knights? Not the warm and cuddly sort. Oh, so those are Jigalog's knights. Original okay. thought in their lifeless husks. So. You're going to help me stop him. Okay. Me? How? Again with the niggling little details. Hold your tongue. Hold oh, my I tongue. Will. <laughs> we'll get to that all in due time. For now, you've got other work to do. Okay. Uh, what is the Grey March? An event. A movement. An apocalypse of sorts happens every era at the end of every era which is to say now so it's happening now okay it's an apocalypse a movement and a gray event. march comes and jigalag and walks. jigalag walks okay or runs I never skip sidles is this like freaking attack on titan i just finished just the attack on titan everything. finale what's happening this is attack on is jigalag aaron he said that jigalag just walks and destroys everything bruh is this dude is this the rumbling what would you ask of me now ask ask I don't ask! I tell! This is my realm, remember? My creation, my place, my rules! Okay, settle down, Look guy. Look at you. No concept of what you've stumbled into. No sense of place. You don't even really know where you are, do you? To be honest, not I really. I suppose few really do, but that's beside the point. We're going to give you a taste of where you found yourself. You're going oh, to wait, wait, learn. Oh, wait, Okay, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Learn? Learn what? Two halves. Two rulers. Two places. Meet and greet. Do what they will. So you know what they're about. The Duke of Mania and the Duchess of Dementia. Seek them out and let them show you what new Sheath is. You might Okay, so that's the next quest, I think. Once you understand what my realm is, you might understand why it's important to keep it intact. Hmm, okay. And maybe you'll make some friends along the way. That's always nice. Indeed it is, my good friend Sheogorath. Alright, he has a couple of dialogues. Let's go over them in the next video so we have, like, everything fresh. Ah! Come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes! Uh, we'll have everything fresh when we start the next video. Um, because right now, it, it, this video is like almost three hours long. It's going to be a pain in my butt to edit. So let's just end this video now. Alright guys! That's going to be the end of today's video. If you guys made it this far into the video, holy crap, you guys are amazing. I appreciate you guys a bunch. Make sure you run up that like button, hit the subscribe, leave a comment, do all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. Tomorrow's video, we're going to be, um, re-talking to Sheogora, figuring out more information about the Dutch and the Duchess of... The Dutch of Bliss and the Duchess of Dementia, I think? We're gonna figure out more about that, and then we're also gonna probably cover the entirety of Bliss. So, tomorrow's video is most definitely probably gonna be a Bliss in-depth look at. So, if you guys are excited for that, that's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it. So, we're going to do Bliss in the next video. Exploring all of the, um, the, the, you know, the town, the townspeople talking to everyone. 
And then we're also, um, we might do quests starting that video, but I like probably might do it in the next video because I want to keep it a little bit separate. So we'll see how things go tomorrow for me. But um, if I'm going to keep this uh, outro short, um, appreciate everyone who's supporting all that stuff. Um, thank you guys a bunch. Tomorrow's video is Bliss, and I will see you guys there. All right, I'll see you guys there at the premiere. All right, guys, you guys better tune in to the premiere skis. Okay, guys? All right, appreciate you guys a bunch. I'm out of here. Peace!